Hello, hello, it is me, it is Opus. <clears throat> I am live. Um, I'm waiting for some people to do the VOD review, and then I will do the VOD review when they're here. Should start in about like 20 minutes. We've got some time to drop into some games and get the feel for Splatoon again, because it's been a while since I've played. I mean, a while. It's been like less than a week. But it's still, it's still like the, the major part of a week, and... And I don't know. It's like I lost the touch. Camera's still working. That's good. My fit is banging. That's cool. That post is very cool and nice. Um, <clears throat> we're gonna do some matches, online matches. Actually, I might do some matches with uh, the carbon ruler deco and the bull point because. Uh, two of the people we're gonna be taking a look at are uh, ha main those weapons basically. So we're gonna look at clips from exclusively those two weapons. Maybe, maybe others, but like the clips from those two people are gonna be just uh, those two weapons. Um. So let me let me switch. Let me switch. Okay. We're gonna start with this, because I think Rick Jones, which is the ballpoint player, is not gonna be there until... Uh... Wait, I forgot. Until, like, maybe, like, 3 hours and 30 minutes later? So that's gonna be, like, later in the day. Basically, just before the... The new Salmon Run rotation starts, the old random one. Which you guys should miss, whoever is watching. Anyways, let's start matching. Uh, turf war? I don't know. Splat zones? Hmm. Hmm. Kind of like, kind of, kind of like the map rotation. It's gonna be hard, and that's what I'll. Oh wait, that's series. Lol. Meat meat. Oh, I like those maps. Turf war. Uh, that's fine. I, I could try some of all of them. I mean, we've got only 15 minutes though, so I'm I'm just. Um, should I drop there? I've got no clue. Okay, sure. Let me waste all of my points. I'm not in depth enough. Uh, fuck. Why do I have run speed? Oh my gosh. Remove. Get something else, Ogris. Come on. What can we get? What could we pick? I don't know. Uh, something like super jump. Ooh, I like super jump. I like this idea. It is very cool. Give me all the super jumps. Fuck, I can't sword the thing, because my stick is still dead. Rick, I hate this. Do I have a better looking one? Ah, oh, this is so painful. Oh, I really need to buy a new controller. <clears throat> Those are some big man noises. Oh, I need, I need to write that down. Also, well, anyways, let's let's match, let's match. Um, whoop, uh, whoop, whoop. Right. Okay, and then I wanted to do the thing where I do something. I don't know what it does. The A6 says yo, hello, and my camera's dead again. Shoot. Can you redeem the camera thing? <laughs> um, fixing the camera is right here. Okay, thank you. I will fix it now. <laughs> okay, there you go. There you go. Hopefully, like, it's gonna be a little struggle to, to for the camera, like, for a while. And then by the time we do the VOD review, it's gonna be clean and not bugging anymore. Uh, I, I have no clue how which pattern it falls uh, of bugging or not. I don't know. <laughs> okay. So currently, currently, I'm trying uh, I'm going to be playing just a few matches in, in during the time that we've got left, which is 15 minutes. Some with the Carbon Roller Deco and some with maybe the Bullpoint, because we're going to do some bad review of two people's like replays. And each of them means one of those two weapons. So I'm gonna try try them, get a feel for them, um, 
see what I can give. What useful tips I can give. Okay. So I'm very rusty uh, in terms of Splatoon because I haven't played in a week. Or, I mean, I have played some summer, but I haven't played consistently. You know, like, you can lose the touch of the Splatoon game in, like, less than a week. Shut up. Shut up. Get away, yo. Oh, wait, that doesn't work. Like this? Oh, oh, oh. Did it hit? Someone? Ah! Don't shoot me. That's how I felt yesterday when I had team practice. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh, oh. He's getting in a base. He's getting in a base. Get out. Get out of here. Oh, 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 oh. I don't like that class blaster. Get away. Get the fuck away. I, I, can't, I can't move forward. I need to go back. This way, this way, this way. What's that guy doing there? Get the fuck away. How to get to him? Oh, with my special. I have specials, that's right. There! Oh, nearly got that guy. Oh, I jumped down in the middle of nowhere. Okay, okay, that's good. That guy? Okay, got him. Okay, that was tough. It's very hard to play this weapon. Definitely. Uh, I don't like that sniper. Let me annoy him. Okay, I escaped. It's fine. We're alive. <laughs> um, you there. Oh, that doesn't do damage. Fuck you. We need special. We need special. Oh, wait. Hold on. We're playing splat zones. We need to hold the zone. I we nearly got the... We need, no, wait. We, actually, never mind. I didn't say anything. We're still losing. Oh, we're kind of winning. We're kind of winning. Oh, oh. No, I nearly got them. Well, I, I had an assist. Oh, that sniper nearly got me. Oh, fuck, we're all dying. Okay, 2v2. This is fine. This is fine. Uh, wait, this is not fine because it's the minus platinum, and I cannot fight against that. We're winning by one point. Come on. I want my special. Give me my special. I want to fight that sniper guy. Oh, this is not good. They know where I am. They know where I am. <laughs> we hit someone. Okay. They don't win. Okay. Okay. Hey, you want to fight? There you go. Let's do some fighting. <laughs> Mini splatling. Oh, nearly died there. No. No. Fuck you. Oh, we can't move down, and they're scoring. We need to move. We need to move up and start painting. Oh. Get some of that juice! Oh my god. <laughs> Trizuka battle, okay. Well, we died once, um, and the game is over. The game is over. That's it. Good job, team. We did what we could. Uh, camera's dead again. Just great. Just amazing. Please tell me at least, like, is there a crash log or something? So that's like, oh, I crashed because out of memory or something. Actually, let me check my memory. Memory is at 81%. Mm, that's, that's respectable. It's not too high. I've seen it be higher at times. So what gives then, huh? What gives? Um, stick with this team. All right. What is happening to my computer? Um, tabs. Lots of. Ooh, that's not good. How? Oh, Cause I restarted my computer. That's why. Like, uh, of the tabs, just like I had, I had closed them, and. I mean, I had removed them from the RAM, but then since the computer did an update, then it's like, oh, I'm re I'm gonna reboot, and oh, Chrome starts again, and oh, all of my tabs just load again. Great. Um. Oh wait, I oh 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 oh. 
didn't send the message. I prepared it, but I didn't send it. I knew 10 minutes in advance as you guys asked. I was like, mm, I'm gonna write the message. I wrote the message. I didn't send the message. Oh, I forgot about the super jump. I've got the max super jump speed. That's the point. I'm supposed to be able to super jump back to base. Well, actually, mm, I'm thinking. Because, like, super jumping back to base is useful when you don't have ways to retreat. But, like, your pill is a pretty covered map. It's, it's got lots of covers. Plus, considering the weapon I'm picking, I can't really, like, paint for myself very well. So, I mainly want to shark closer to my side of the map. Um, where we've got ink that I can move around in. So I'm not usually going to be in like tough situations deep into the enemy's base where I need to super jump back. But I could use that to super jump in between teammates. That could work. And especially like if I do that, I've got the um, close range kill. Could be useful to, to splat some people. To assist my teammates. Actually, you know what? Let me paint. I'll super jump back to my teammates. I'm going to be done. This paints nothing. This paints literally nothing. I am sad. Okay, good. Not that fast. Because I'm missing the, the other half. Oh, no, no, no. We need to go back. We need to go back. This is dangerous. I'm firing at nothing. Whatever. This is a waste. And uh, we're still losing. Who's that guy? It's uh, heavy. Okay, he's got some range. I'm not gonna fight him at first. Uh, nope. Now we need to move up. We need to start moving up. Stop, you freaking. You're annoying. Okay, I made him move back. That's that's already a good first step. Is he moving back on, on place? I don't know. So yeah, one thing is like, in whenever I watch some replays of, um, I think it was Eng, I'm not sure, or maybe it was someone else. Probably was someone else. But basically, they were using mainly the burst bombs of 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 the carbon deco, and then they were wondering why they couldn't get any kills. Well, because the burst bombs doesn't get the kills, right? It, it, it can hit opponents from afar very easily, and it makes a satisfying, like, pop sound, right? But it... Oh, fuck, we lost. It's not gonna kill. Because it's not made for killing. And if, if, if you hit that first on a sniper, it's not gonna kill them. The only thing it's gonna do is, like, oh, hey, I'm here, please shoot at me. And that's not good. But one thing that it does that is pretty cool is that it paints at the feet of the person. So if you throw burst bombs, it's not gonna kill, but it's gonna be annoying. And that's good, for example, if you if you wanna like, annoy a Hydra or, or a Heavy or a Sniper and make them waste time, just like I did there. Uh, problem then is that they're gonna know where you are, so you need to move. Um, burst is really helpful for getting kills on carbon. Usually a vertical flick, so burst bomb will kill, okay. Vertical? You mean the... Okay. Vertical? Hold on. I... I... Recently, I, I've, uh... I've taken to calling the vertical and the horizontal long range and close range flicks instead. Because it's it's much more clear for people. Because sometimes they just confuse it. So yeah, like, you're using the correct words. And si since in their mind it's, like, inverted, it does... It, they don't understand. Figuring out their range. That kills, okay. Well, it definitely depends on the range. Definitely depends on the range. I, I, I get... Okay, mm, I wonder. Because, like, if, you, if you're already that close that it's gonna do the 30 combo, then the question is, why don't you just do a second flick? Because here it's not gonna kill, right? It, if you do this and then this, it's not gonna kill. Anyways, unless you do this and then this. Uh, wait, that was supposed to be a direct hit. Yes, that's gonna kill, but then you need to aim pretty, pretty accurately.
I figure like if you're in range, unless it's like faster. Or I, I guess the burst bombs, it's harder to miss. So that's why it would be easier. But I, I guess, can't you just use the normal flick then? Right? Doesn't that also work kind of like a burst bomb? And has the, the range you would need anyways? Because if, if you hit the, the 50 damage or, or more on the, on the long range one, then I would assume you're already close enough that by doing just a normal flick at that same distance, you would do the correct amount of remaining damage fuck it. Doing a second flick is slower than a burst bomb and you get to move soon. Okay. True, true. I, I guess the they do, they don't slow you down as much because you're not technically firing a weapon. Oh Jesus Christ, who's killing everybody? Probably the dino. Okay, guys. Yeah, see the dynamo down there. What is that? Only I don't have the the same painting car as with the big swig. I'm annoyed. I'm big annoyed. Big swig. Oh, what do you even want to shoot? But yeah, I guess like for more in conception, you're like you get to do the same thing, but with more movement. You just have to spend a little more ink. Which is interesting. Like, it's a good trade-off, I feel like. Oh, I, 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 I'm, it's so hard to get close. Oh, I killed, I killed two of them. Okay, okay, it's definitely. I do appreciate the the clutch helpfulness of the carbon. It can do some sneaky kills. <laughs> Fuck you! Oh, didn't even get a kill. Trizuka is awkward on this weapon. It's like you, you kind of want to move way too close with it, and then Trizuka is like, "Oh yeah, but now you gotta take the sniper spots." And I'm like, "Fuck you! I'm very far from the sniper spots. How am I supposed to do that?" I feel like my eyes are gonna die. Okay, you there. Why do they always move? Okay, okay, got that guy. Anyone? Oh fuck, I missed. Oh, last shot. Um, also, burst help for sealing out kills of if they're already running. Yeah. I mean, yes, but no, also, because. Why was that a, a two shot kill? Um, so the thing is, if they're running away, most likely you haven't hit your first shot for 50 damage. And if that's the. Oh! If that's the case, and you didn't hit the 50 damage or more shot, because they're already running away, then the burst bomb you're gonna need to hit it head on for the 60 damage. Which is. And that's assuming that the 60 damage is gonna be enough. Because I don't even know what the minimum damage of, of the vertical flick is. Might might not even be 40, might be lower. Which in that case means that even a burst bomb wouldn't necessarily help. But I am a noob at the carbon roller so I do not know so I will shut up and learn before saying anything um, okay what about we stop sucking and actually do great at the game uh, they're still not here so I'm gonna keep going wait I already lost three games oh my gosh I'm gonna waste all of my points <laughs> also what what's the little direct relief charity fund hmm okay okay i like the little little ice thing unless you hit at the tip of the vertical flick it's you it usually will combo so it's like no okay 40 yeah 40 that that yeah, okay. Wait, hold. Come on. Just work. Yeah. And then direct. Okay, it, it will always combo with a direct burst bomb hit. So that's good to know. That's good to know. Camera turned off again. Jesus. Camera, come back. Uh, okay, camera's back. 
At least I figured out a way to consistently make it come back without trouble. Like, it's not gonna bug, it's not gonna like, change sizes, that's good. Um, so, let us do the g Wait, I haven't even checked what it is. Tower control and hagglefish and undertow. Okay, okay. Sounds like pain. I'm up for the challenge. Whoop. 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 Boom. Kababoom. Kaboom. Kaboom. Kabadaboom. Bumboom. Kabadaboom. Baboom. Because, yeah, I guess, like, if you're at that range. Wait, that doesn't even hit. If you're, like, at that range, then you get, whoop. Second shot. Just normal shot. Come on. Ah, jeez. I mean, I guess. I guess this one doesn't really hit above ledges as well. But this one. Oh, yeah. This one. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, yeah. It hits above ledges like... Ah, so well. So you can be there. You're like... You're like... There. You see that? That's crazy. Crazy amount of... Bullshittery of hitting above a ledge. I, I've seen, Yeah, I've figured that out about rollers. It's like... There's not even any trace of pain. It's just like... It hits. It just kills. And that could, mm, I guess it works, but it's less cool. <coughs> yeah, carbons are a ledge demon. I feel, I feel, I feel like rollers have some potential. They're like really, they're you're, cause sometimes I'm, I'm on the ledge. I'm like, mm, I'm safe there, and then a roller just comes in and insta kills me. Cause like, I mean, it's it one shots, right? And it's just, it's just too fast. I didn't even see them because they're like they're hiding. <laughs> they're under the light, and they managed to get kill me for free. And I don't agree with it. Uh, nobody's watching. Nobody's watching. Oh, hello! I'm hearing someone in the bushes. That is cool. I am. I'm currently doing some matches with the carbon deco, trying out. The weapon to get a feel for it. Um, I will finish my match and then I'll be right up to you. Uh, yep, I am on Twitch. So, I guess the will be revealed the map all point. I think someone can sponsor this man. I'm having kind of uh, a hard time understanding what you're saying. Oh, can you hear me? Yep. A bit better. Yep, okay. It looks like that there's some uh, place that some of them get points, some of them get points. So some of the methods are absolutely destroyed. Low battery, that sucks. Can't kill him above the ledge. Oh, yes! I'll tell him when I'm done. Um, it's not really bad, Rob. It's kind of salty. A bit salty. <laughs> Yeah, recently I don't know why, even with good like weapon rotations that people usually know how to play, I I'm not really getting back to where I was. The base The base curse. I got to Oh we not that I think this rotation is okay, but the base really curse. I got really, I got dragged down to the map free. It will take with call. From the side, he's flanking us. Goji. Oh, he died. Oh my gosh! Didn't need two shots. 
you even have to aim up most of the time. I mean, it, yeah, it depends on how close you are to the ledge, because if you're, like, very close, I feel like you would need to aim up just a little bit. Uh, other, oh, really? Otherwise, yeah, it's, it's good. It's cool as well. Because one thing I noticed about the rollers is that they hit above... It, it, they don't hit, like, straight forward. They kind of, like, aim up, and then the ink falls down. Oh, yeah. So it's great at hitting up above lead. Ow. It's kind of like the same the same deal as the tries you get just hitting above. Like, uh, it doesn't hit straight, it's weird. But it works. So, I guess, yeah. It's fine. Oh, got him. With a burst bomb. Oh! I hit him! Hit him! Hit him! Let's go! I waited a good amount of time. <laughs> Shouldn't get on! Shouldn't get on! Get up, get up, get up, get up! And now you die! <laughs> Ow. Oh wait, we, they got a this one. Oh well. Easy. Easy peasy then. We need one point, we've got 12 seconds. Okay, we're not gonna make it. Okay, never mind, we're not gonna make it. Shut up. Ow. Well, whatever, match is over. I wasted a lot of points to get into series for whatever freaking reason. Because I hate myself. Uh. <laughs> so. I even often to see what you're doing. So I have your game somewhere. Do -do -do -do. Oh, F. Uh, Rick. I feel that. Okay. Why does it not want to paste the thing? That's very much not practical. Oh, come on. <laughs> So I couldn't really hear the guy in the VC over the game audio. Noted, I will increase the volume. Is my voice fine though? Your microphone? Yeah, uh, that's true. Okay. I'm it's still figuring out the stuff. I cannot hear I cannot hear uh clearly enough. Let me see. Some of the players were not able to continue, the match will not count as a loss. Okay. Um ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. So I am trying to find your messages in the channel, but the, the Freaking Discord search does not want to auto-complete your name, so I, it's hard then. Um, what's going on? Come on, Discord. Hello? Yes, yes, I'm here. Okay, I can hear Echo now. Wait, that work? Right. Still doesn't work, that's... That sucks. Hello, testing. Yes, yes, yes. It works. Well then, let me scroll up then. It's gonna be annoying. Grab baby. Because I don't know if you sent more games. Of the bullpoint. 
You're ready. Yes, I can hear you. I need to check like what game have I sent because like I think I played too much matches that. Yes, some I of will the try games using the, the desktop version of Discord. That way, maybe it works better. This actually, I'm using a desktop version now. I'm also using the desktop version because I, uh, yeah, my phone is not like uh, collecting audio very really good. And also, let me. Uh, web version. Uh, okay, we go into the Squid Skull server. Hopefully, the search works correctly there. From, in. Uh, so we do Control F, and then we're like, uh, from. User. From R I C. Oh yeah. yes, it auto completes. Let's go. Um, blah blah blah. Zipcaster. I have some Zipcaster play some. What is? Explosure play and. Uh, yeah. I saw a turf war means meat loss, and also I got squid bagged. Should I report that player? Come on. Yeah, I got squid back. Do you hate fun? <laughs> hate the fun. <laughs> Anyways, I get um... to it. What have I, what have I said? Actually? Oh, that's a stamper, I think. Is that a stamper? Oh, I think you sent way too much stuff since then. I'm absolutely lost. Oh yeah, I also submitted some tricolor codes as well. Uh, yeah, I saw those. Um, just need just to like after the stuff. after the flat bass. Okay. Tricolor, I don't know it. Even if you lose the turf war, you still like get points from getting the ultra signal, right? I but it's have not no clue. But I, I know that even if you're like the last team, as long as, as you're attacking and the other attacking team won, then you're kind of second, technically. Hmm. So we got two games with the bullpen. Uh, one is this code, which I will go ahead and search in the search bar. That's good that I can see. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Actually, can I can I not just do I am I might be dumb and I should just search my messages <laughs> instead. And then whoop, 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 Oh, where have I put that squid back messages? Okay. Uh, try to write and spots open, blah, blah, blah. And then we go down. Oh, I got some. Oh, that's Zip's caster. Yeah, the Zip caster one. Yeah, mostly the. The codes that I uploaded, I think those are like four. Those are like Zipcaster and one is the Exposure. And the ballpoint we mostly is tricolor. Yep, that's it. I'm not playing in the four point. <laughs> oh yeah, cause you sent another batch of okay, okay, okay. Well, first off, I look at your two games. Uh, let me let me get the codes. Da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Okay. Here. You can watch it together through Discord or Twitch. Um, you're asking how to watch the thing. Uh, yeah. Are you going to share your screen or? Just watch it on Twitch. Yeah, you can you can watch it on Twitch. Um, do you really please? Okay, I will have this. Then it, it it's easier for me to put it on YouTube and stuff like this. 
because it's already saved, which is cool. Uh, but a bit of 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 a and then paste it into your Nintendo app, it will automatically download into your game. Yes, that is what I'm usually doing. The, my app is working, not working. Oh, no. let oh. Me, let me check. Why Why is it not working? Just tell, it just told me er error. Error? Error? Error says the code is invalid. Blah, 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 blah. Web service ID, Splatoon 3. Um, close Splatoon 3. Is there any updates? Oh, that is not cool. Um, NX APM. Whatever, for now I'm gonna enter the codes manually because that's the best we can do, I guess, until I reinstall the thing. Okay. Um, which I will do in a sec. So, whoop. Code. We go into replay code, we enter the two ones. Uh, S, wait, no, R, L, S, 7, 4, 8, X, F. Uh, D7, double G, U. And then one five YQ. Well, thankfully we only have two codes. So that's it's not gonna be. Wait, what do you mean the code is invalid? What? Did I make a mistake? One five. Let me see. Q four eight. L R L S U. Where's the wait, code wait. from actually? Uh, it's a seven. I am dumb. Yes, I am less dumb now. I figured it out. <laughs> okay. And the that second one. Still fancy. R O G U um, L X F Q uh, W N O. Yes, I think it's ball point N R three. I think is it? Let's see. HR six Y. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, how's it going? Hello. Oh, hello. Oh, sport. Okay. Are you guys doing uh, like uh, open? Look at my name. I'm doing some VOD review. <laughs> oh my bad. <laughs> <clears throat> it is fun. Okay, um, so we have uh, those two okay. games. I will take a look at which order is it in. Oh yeah, it's in the correct order now because I entered them manually. So we have this first game. You are saying I'm a bo I'm a bullpoint playing splat zones in museum. I've lost with a knockout. I've stayed in the alley in the ally zones for too long. Am I? Question mark. What are my better positioning in this game? Question mark. Question mark. Uh, let's check it. Hmm. Okay. Zelda wave. Interesting boom, name. Boom, boom. I think we can charge him this time. And as oh okay, let me see what I'm doing. So I think in this, I think I have two main ones speed up, and then I'm, I'm about to shoot the whole bunch. The two should have uh, one main speed So I'm like mostly in game, and then I got the, yeah, the in jet. You seems like you maybe probably I should some get on. on that. Oh, and this one I got like two. Uh, remember that there's some delay with the stream, by the way. Okay. So we can't talk because we don't have teammates right now. Let me figure out the controls again. Oh, it's so so weird now because I need to use the other stick. Um, this stick is broken. Okay. 
And like my R stick, you know, to use the special, it's broken, so I had to remap my control so that the L stick is for um, is for doing that for the R stick. But the, the thing is, if you do that, then you're like it messes all of the UI, and also you're missing the L button for like sorting gear and stuff like that. Okay. Um, oh crap! I, I wonder if it's a good idea to stay up there as much. Uh, I feel like you could probably... Like, if you want to be effective for painting, I feel like the, the long range shots aren't that great. Uh, it's... I Personally, I don't play much full point, but I would have probably dropped down, used the cover of that little uh, thing, and used the, the um, close range shots closer to the battlefield basically because I feel like they would paint better because they have a mm -hmm. higher fire rate. Um, yeah. It feels like I'm not contributing. Mm -hmm. Usually like whenever I play the bullpoint, um, and I know that's probably like a uh, gimmick mentality because I really like using the close range shots for getting like some very satisfying kills, but usually I only reserve the long, the long range shots as a uh, like just in case right they're like in case you need more range but they're not your main tool your main tool is go mainly going to be the close range shots um because like mm. if you think about it about how the um, how the um, ball point really works it's like the first mode that you get access to the easiest to get access to and the, the easiest to actually maintain is the close range one so let me just pick the ball point uh, to Let's showcase go. what I'm what I'm talking about. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, so here are some facts. Uh, whenever you start, ch why is it so slow? Because <laughs> I'm not running my speed up gear. Jeez, let me run my speed up gear. Is it? Speed up and one anchor system probably. Oh, maybe one main. That's that's not right. Run. Oh yes, running. this is much better. We're running fast now. So yeah, thing yeah, is, free. whenever you charge, mm. the first mode you get access to is the close range one. And then whenever yep. you do the charging thing, the, the recharge thing in the middle, when, when you cut it off, um, mm. it's gonna maintain you in that first mode. Here are some cool things about this mode. It's fast, it, like, it, if you look at the, um, at the splatlings, uh, all the splatlings, I do think that they all have the same fire rate. Um, the main, the, the thing with the bow point specifically is that the the um, fast fire rate mode um, has a higher fire rate, and I mean, well, yeah, I kind of gave it away. Basically, the close the range first fire has yeah, first close fire. range has fire faster fire rate, and then the long range has slower fire rate than other splatlings. So, uh, if if you try to paint with the close range, as you can see, it's it's pretty good. Um, it. it it paints all right, but then if you try with the long range, let me try. I'm not quite sure that it paints as well. Yeah, as you can see, it's kind of spotty. And also, the thing is that you move very slow when you do this. So, mm -hmm. see what I painted there? It's like, that's the best you're going to be able to paint. And all of those splotches do basically nothing, especially for spot zones. And also, since you're not moving very fast from side to side, you're not going to be very effective at painting. Whereas if you just, let me, let me clean up the map. If you just use the, the close range one, you're gonna have some great paint output, and then you can also move faster than any other splatling, except for the mini, obviously. Um, but it, it's it's kind of a good trade off. Basically, like if you want a splatling that paints very well and moves very well, you're gonna pick the mini. Uh, this one kind of can do what the mini does, but not as well. But as a trade off, it got a long range mode in case it needs it. But the long range mode is not gonna be something you wanna use because yeah sometimes i think whenever I, I watch your gameplay i often see you whenever you try to like do the recharging thing sometimes you just let it go to the long range mode before you actually start recharging which i don't really understand uh because um, personally actually it's like that when when you're like charging and you release it it has like half half a second less than a second of a burst mode and then you could be switch to long range mode but in order to like maintain the first fire mode, you need to like, um, you can like keep pressing like Aries one second, something like that. Okay, mm -hmm. not like doing the first fire mode actually. So I need yeah. to do that actually. It's an automatic process. Yeah. 
So keep, keep. just vice versa, you want to maintain the long range when you just like um let it fire on the long range and then like press short time and then like release again. Then we'll like keep on firing with the long range mode. Yeah. Yep. That's how it does. Okay, cause cause usually whenever I see you playing playing or I I think it's you whenever I see you playing, I, you basically leave it to go to the long range mode before starting to press it again. Which usually whenever you see me play, you'll see that I I recharge it way before it actually switches. Because if you think about it, you don't really need it to go the full length of the of the short range, right? You can just interrupt it whenever you want, even if it's not much. Um, I, I would rather uh, mm. like recharge it more than needed to keep the, the burst fire that way I'm sure that it's always gonna be burst fire because um, if you think about it whenever you, you try to fight someone um, since the fire rate is so fast you don't actually need much of of the shots to actually kill the person so if I kill them and then it's gonna switch to the long range after like twice the amount of time uh, and same thing, if you want to paint, you don't really... Because here's the thing, whenever you use the short range, mm. you're mobile. So maybe like switching to the burst fire is not really gonna um, affect your aiming or your killing time or anything like that. But what it's gonna do is it's gonna slow you down. Um, and that's mm. maybe something you, you could avoid. So that's just a tip I, I, am, I could give is to try to recharge more than needed. Or like figure out the exact timing. Right, the the because let me, let me check how much of the circle gets depleted before it switches. Yeah, I think it's like one third. Kind one of. fourth, I think, in my opinion. Yeah, one fourth. Kind of like well, then whenever you see yeah. you go at one fourth, you can just um, start recharging again. And uh, honestly, I I just think you can hear it through the audio. You don't really have to look at the circle or focus on that. You can just focus on aiming normally and just focus on the. Bop, 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 the, the kind of t the timing. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's my two cents on it. Um, let me take a look mm. at your second game. But it kind of depends on your role though, because like in that match I'm playing at anchor, because the rest of my teammates are like uh, more like skirmishers or frontline roles. Like, so I think my role would be playing like anchor and then they jump over to me like that. So mm -hmm. I'm like I'm keeping my survival rate high. But at the same time, like doing, I'm not doing much of the map match because like um, all the enemies are like, all back and outside behind the the tower, right? Mm -hmm. Behind the rotating tower, right? So like um, I cannot do anything about that in, instead of using inkjet to pressurize them. Uh, so let me read the I messages don't... from the eye uh, that is giving some tips. The good thing about ballpoint is it it has good close and long range. The primary fire mode should be long range mode since that's when it applies the most pressure and is the biggest threat okay primary okay, fire mode the first fire one okay primary fire so, mode is then you should be on long at range first mode I should like prioritize the main the midline roles isn't it so so like at first i can like do some midline midline there's like close midline range is like mainly used for pain or if someone gets close to you but you bull, the bull point should be on the front lines where it needs to be in close range mode a lot well here's where i don't necessarily agree because again the thing is like the painting on the long range mode is not that great and also like getting right. to the long range mode is takes some time right and maintaining it also it, it can, can be a pain it's not the most consistent thing to do it's it's the the it's long range mode is inaccessible i would say and here's the thing if you're not doing much of anything right you should yep. pro you should probably just use the close range mode because because you're like yeah you don't want to be on the front lines and and using your close range, but it's not necessarily about being in the front lines. It's just about well if you're not doing it because because here's the thing, if you were to sit on a mode if you're not necessarily targeting anyone, what are you gonna do the most? What do you want to do if you're not like trying to kill people? Right? There are maybe people over supporting <laughs> far away. Probably supporting. Well, exactly. And how are you gonna do that better by painting? Like if you're not doing anything, yeah, painting, you better be yeah, painting at least. Fireball. I so that's why I'm saying if, if you're not gonna like the long range mode is useful you want to use it for pressuring people I do agree with that you don't necessarily have to get in close to them to kill them with the close range mode but you have no reason to use the long range mode if you're not gonna shoot at someone and you know that you're gonna shoot at them because fire rate is slower um, it doesn't paint as well it makes you slower less mobile it has lots of disadvantages the only advantage is that it fires 
from Power Away and is very precise for killing. You don't need to be precise for painting or anything. Power is good for a uh, poke it too, the first fire. It's good for poke it at high ground. Because yeah. then you need to know where all the enemies are, then it's a really good poke it, poke it too. Mm -hmm. The first fire. And um, yeah, in the you mentioned your your team composition. I would say that uh, you had like the two tri slushers and the flingsa. So the two tri slushers are gonna be are gonna want to be on the battlefield, and mm. they're gonna be better at that than you would be with your even your close range. But the problem with the, the tri slusher is that they have a hard time painting from themselves. They don't have like terrible paint. I don't. I don't really know, but like their their pain pattern is really hard to fight in or use. And then uh, you get the yeah, flingsa. I'm not. I'm not aggressive enough. No. Um. Well, basically, what I would say is that in the game, if we watch it again, I feel like you, maybe you stay too much up there and use your long range shots and didn't provide enough paint for your um your tri slushers to fight with. Because that's the that's thing. That's why I'm. That's why I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. I know. At, at least what you could do, when, whenever I can't really get up close to the fight, but I still have a weapon that can paint pretty well at close range, I try to paint at least close to my base. That way, if the tri slashers get in, in danger or like any other weapon, they can always fall back. And whenever they're like close enough to our base that they touch the ink that I, I just painted. Because yeah, here you see you're trying to use the long range shots and you're just getting painted over really fast. Um, yeah, yeah. And, and yeah, that way, at, at least if the tri slashers get back to your base enough that they go into the ink that you painted, well, they've got an easy escape route and they can survive, which is good. Because that, that means they can do more fighting. The tri slasher, they are like fighting inside like, so, the zone. Fighting inside the zone. Let me take a look at my. Yeah, here everybody's dead. It's not good. Yeah, two down. Oh, three down. Mm -hmm. I, no, oh, three down. I cannot drop down. Okay, I need to paint special for the base. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah I'm using the, the rock. Yeah, here it, it feels yeah. like you're you're trying to paint because especially if I take a look at your point of view, at some point I feel like you're trying to paint and focus on the zone with the long range mode, and I'm like, yeah, but there's a height, there, there's a heavy looking at you, and the long range mode is for killing yeah. people. So like yeah, either either I would have like painted. Dangerous. Yeah, it, in that specific situation, I would have either painted down with the close range mode or fired at the heavy with the long range mode. But feel, here it feels like. Yeah. Oh my god, that's my. I know. Oh. Yeah, yeah, that's why I got killed. I, I did not like, react to the flash pass. Mm -hmm. And here's, here's another thing also is that, well, in, in that specific situation, I do. I do understand why it was maybe hard to react to the um, to the um, oh. heavy spotling being there up on the ledge, and you di didn't really have enough time to escape. But here, in my opinion, w the the reason why you got caught off guard by that uh, heavy spotling is that it climbed up, and you were like, "Oh, I need to react. I need to move out of the way." But you might have had a hard time because of using the long range mode. Maybe, maybe not in that situation. In that situation, I'm like, oh, I'm trying to show it, like, maybe I can really do it. Yeah. The first reaction I got caught by the, by the dap. I think it's the dap. The dap. Like, my attention got caught by the dap, and then I was like, oh, there's a heavy spot in front, maybe I shoot at it. But then I lost that fight. That's the, the Okay, yeah. uh, I know you guys were placed on the map. I think no. I'm panicking at that time because like the timer keeps taking off. Probably. Uh, you died to the heavy there because you ran away from the closest co cover. That uh, is true. That is true. That's true. That maybe is true. I should have like used the cover on the left though. Yeah. I have like, uh, got cover fire that I may not have uh, got splattered, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> that maybe that's why I got the. So let me down. check the second game in which you There's mentioned. Tower control, right? You mentioned. I'm a. I'm ballpoint in tower 
cannon control. Second last match, luckily I'm not in series rent here. It, is it just luck for me to win there? Are places I can do better, or is it my gear? Salt got to be now. <laughs> um, that's a salt okay. <laughs> Let's check it. Gun splash. Pretty good team on the other side. You guys got two splatlings. Let's see how yeah, that Yeah, I'm painting control now. Okay. Yeah. See, here, okay. I'm gonna just drop, yeah. I'm doing painting too conservative. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I understood that, um, yeah. Because what I'm saying is that you got your side of the map already painted and you're kind of using your long range shots for a bit too long. I feel like it would be time to move forward, kind of drop down and use your, your close range shots to do some painting up and ahead of the tar. Because that's one thing you can do, contra contrary to like, say, the heavy spotling or other backline exclusive oh, weapons. Best time. You can kind of like best time, yeah. get closer if you need to. So how yeah, is yeah, the map look at that? Take a look at the point of view. I'll probably get... Okay, yeah. Okay, what's about it? That's good. Got that? Okay. What number's the vantage? Let's go. There's only the cell list that's not shot. I, I don't necessarily know if staying on a tower the as the bull point is something I would do. I feel like I would prefer spots that are kind of like easier to weave in and out of um, of the long and close range modes, right? So basically just flat ground would be great. Because then if someone just tries to get too close to you, you can just back off and use the long range shots on, on them. And if, if like you're around some piece of cover, you can just move in and use the close range around the cover and then kill them super fast. Basically anything that allows you to move. And I feel like the tower isn't really conducive to being mobile and, and switching, alternating between your fire modes. Um, it is though, but I'm the one with the longest range on short range. Because like, well, no one's rushing to the tower. So like, I'm like, keeping the objective to check at that point. But that's I what I'm talking about. I get number two. But personally, I feel like maybe one of the best weapons to stay on the tower would be the splash because it can have, um, well, it can paint for its, you know, whenever you're in top situations, it doesn't need to charge, so you can just like paint at its feet. It's got a burst bomb in case it needs that. And it also has crab uh, to, like, whenever it charges it, it can just like hold it down on oh, the tower. Crap. Okay. And that's pretty cool. I feel like maybe the second best would be. I feel like just weapons that can react for themselves and fight very fast. Oh. That's a lucky escape. <laughs> Ow. Okay, I'm not going too well. Yeah. I feel like the map is painting way too red right now. So. I would probably, like, I, I'm someone who focuses a lot on, on paint. I, I do see the value in having paint on the map, because not having paint makes it very hard to move around. Um, so basically here you're getting close, but you don't really have how to move forward anymore. Um, same thing, like, if you drop down into, into mid and there's a lot of enemy paint, then you don't really know who's where and where you're gonna get shot from. Yeah, that's why I'm close to the tree. Oh, okay. Well. And Spatana, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's the point where I need to drop that back on guard. All uh, the other weapons want to be. Frontline skill. Uh, okay, no, 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 no. You died to the heavy. Okay. Bullpoint should be on the tower in this comp. All the other weapons want to be in the frontline skilling. Hmm. And this comp, uh, yeah, that's know. why I'm agreeing because like I'm the one who has the longest range amount of comps, so I should be on the tower. Yeah, and also like uh, ballpoint is kind of midline and I kind of sub like in front using ballpoint to like um one v one with people actually. Uh, so I, 
I don't know why people... Because I've heard a few people say that, oh, I have the longest range, I need to get on the tower. How does that correlate? I don't know. It's um, like, I guess since the tower is going to be technically in the back of the players, then you're going to match your ranges. No, because I expect, like, uh, people will, like, push in front of the tower so I can accomplish uh, that, uh, supporting them from the back lines, actually. Because, like, you don't want the tower to be, like, on the front because it get taken pretty much. Well, yeah, obviously, uh, but I, I don't see why there can be, like, for example, the Nautilus, the Volpoint, and, the, um, and, the, um the um, how is it called the stamper in front and doing doing the killing because you have a close range mode nautilus is also pretty great at moving around and then you've got the sword and then the splash can just stay on the tower i don't in see why the splash of... couldn't be the one that stays on the tower why would why that would be a bad idea um splash but a splash um in my terms it has the kind of the highest mobility on bound the cons actually well, ballpoint and black links in general also need to charge. So, in terms in terms of mobility, it took some of it away. Yeah. Um, the splash is like um, because you only need to shoot, right? You just shoot and then like swim around the paint. So, in terms of mobility, the splash has uh, quite a lot actually. So and, and and that's kind of what I'm saying. Be... It would be better on the tower because it can it can paint for itself. If it, if, for example, it gets painted at its feet and it mm, needs to move to the other the side of the tower, and, it can do that. Like, people want and then it can also kind of paint pretty well at close range. So whenever the tower moves, it can just like paint so an the escape route for so you guys. So you recommend the strat like okay, the tower should be on the front. So like on the ballpoint, like um, sorry, I cannot hear what you're saying. Sorry, the voice is overlap. Uh, what what did you uh, say? What's your view? Um, I'm trying to say that um, the t do you think that the top in this strat that the tower should be like um. Be on the front line, let the big push, and then we. No, uh, I, I don't think the tower should ever be in front. Hmm. But, but, but we recommend the splash to be on the tower, right? Yeah, but, but there's the no reason. That's the tower, that's the thing. There's no reason that the splash couldn't be on the tower in the back. Uh, there's no reason for the splash to be on the tower in the back. So. You think that Splash should take the tower and me, Nautilus, Damper, and all points should like go in front? Is it like that? Or am mm -hmm. I misunderstanding something? And okay, so the I6 is saying you shouldn't be worried about escape if you're on the tower because generally you will be the farthest from the fight. Yes, I am not saying about escaping yourself from the tower. I'm saying as the Splash, if you would be on the tower, you, could, you can paint an escape route for the others to get back to the tower and behind the tower, right? As they go forward and try to paint with their long, kind of like long range modes and prevent the enemies from coming in from a distance in instead of like letting them cl get close, you can basically take their side of the map and pressure them from there, from their backline spots, but on like facing them. And then the splash can just like willy nilly just paint the ground like in mid. That way you guys can escape if you need to. Uh, Splash mm. doesn't have long painting range though. Well, they, that's that's the point. It doesn't need long painting range because the tower moves. The tower, the tower moves. That people will be rushing. You know, the enemy would be rushing to the tower and try to. Well, exactly. And when and they do that, you already got some points, and you can you can fall back because you have an escape route. The ballpoint can ex accomplish mm. the same thing and pressure from long distance. Then every until... every weapon can do that. That's why I'm not getting because every weapon can do that. Well, yeah. Every weapon can like, charge. But the, but the only weapon that can, can charge, like, survive, charge. like on the tower, you know, when it, whenever you get like, let's say someone throws a burst bomb on on the tower where you are, if you're let's say a hydra, you're dead. You you don't have time to charge. If you're like any weapon that has to charge, you're kind of dead. Um, or you're gonna like struggle very hard and and not be not be able to do exactly what you want. But if you're a splash and someone throws a burst bomb, you're just like moving like this right around the pillar of the tower if there's a sp if someone for example s the enemies just throw their all of their subs at you one's gonna throw um, a burst bomb to prevent you from moving the other one has thrown a splat bomb and the splat bomb is gonna explode and you can't really get to the other side because you're trying to charge a weapon trying to paint trying to move and here with the splash you're just like boom boom other side it's as easy as that if you're struggling way too hard burst bomb bam you can move again see if you need to escape 
You just paint, oh, jump off the tower, and you're, you're out. So that's one oh. person <clears throat> less that's gonna die. That, uh, uh, but Actually, charge weapons, um, it might interfere. You can ju just, like, charge, like, short period of time. It's mostly close to the tap shot, just charge small period of time, or just tap shot. It, it also paints your feet, and then you can, like, escape pretty fast, like that. A uh, capture is also excellent like, charge, exactly, but it's, it's just a, not a really good thing to deal damage of paint, it's just like to paint your feet. Plus, and get plus I, I guess, you know, I, I could throw other arguments in there, like the fact that if you jump off the tower, you can still do some killing while in the air because you've got perfect air accuracy, so I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I just feel like mm -hmm. people usually reserve the tower for backlines. That's something I never really considered and something I don't really get uh, I, I, it could work. It definitely is something that is logical, but I don't see why it would um, be the only thing. Uh, yeah, I, I, I don't uh, know why people feel tower, like I'm the one supposed tower, to get on like, the tower. What the, other, what the other role should be? Other role should be like defending the tower or push. Or just push for the enemy spawn, keep them at their spawn, like let them finish their objectives or like that stuff. Hmm. That's why I don't get because like um, because you need to keep the in order to keep the objective, you need to also kind of make the numbers advantage, right? Kind of, and you just need to like push enough, to keep harassing the enemy to keep them at their spot until like you push enough, then you can like until things get dicey, then you can like get out, right? Hmm. So that's so that's why um, uh, mainly that. The back, mainly that uh, the back lines uh, ride a tower because like if the back lines do that, then they the front can just like safely go uh, to the front end. The back lines can just uh, assist that like, whatever kills that front lines uh, failed to kill it, isn't it? That's um, kind of my argument. Kind of. Because in the front line, that you got shot it, because like in the tower, like immediately if you got shot, you need to like get out, right? But mm -hmm. yes, the tower is like protected by a bunch of front flankers and as yeah, so a back one you can like just keep track if there's any flankers going to be like more mm -hmm. dangerous than yeah that's this kind of my question though. Yeah I, I guess it just but makes I'm not sense. a comp player so like I well, me neither. I'm, I'm not really talking my... about like the the highest level but I I just basically it all of those strats you mentioned do make a lot of sense. I'm just like I don't feel mm. like it's necessarily um, like you, you, you can experiment, it should be fine. You, you don't have a specific role that you need to do, and you can't do anything else. You can experiment, I feel like. Um, yeah, I agree. It's still experiment in A rank. Yeah. Would, but, anyways, would, we can move on to other weapons. Yeah. Uh, would you mind matches, uh, me doing some matches with the bullpoint just to try it out? I've actually got tower control yep. here on. Um, on series, oh, yeah, we can, so I could do that. We can see. All right, series now is tower haggles and under tow. Mm -hmm. So I will, mm -hmm. I will do Probably a few I matches and comment on what I'm doing. Because like the glass ceiling is going to be a lot of, you're going to meet a lot of bombs on, on top of the glass ceiling. So I don't know if I should stand over there. Mm -hmm. so I'm, I don't I'm think, so I don't think it's a good support position because you're only aim at the right side. Of the Aim at the right side of the map instead of the map directly under you. <laughs> so yeah, you just consider the bad like the bridges for uh, under tow. I will bridge is still okay. You can just do go a bit front of that. But that's my type. But let's see how you do do with the ball point. Yeah, I'm pretty inter pretty interested. <laughs> Oh, please, it's also cool. I'm waiting for a custom kit for time. Or the beacon. <laughs> custom kit where we have the beacon. Okay. We're playing with some pretty good players. Alright, let's see. Tower control. Hello, Fish. Okay. They've got long range, they got close range, they got holding power, um, okay. Good calm, good calm. The one that can try to shoot in range is So I, I, I will comment it what I'm thinking of. Um, you can just just watch, you don't right. necessarily oh, need to commentate. Okay. 
Currently I'm just sitting in the middle, trying to hold down the ink. I'm gonna check the map, nobody's getting on the side, that's good. Okay. Mm -hmm. Trying to paint a lot on mid, that way we get paint control, and using the, the short fire mode. Putting lots of paint down, I okay. don't really need to put it on the left side, so I'm gonna stop. Oh, no. Um, I have my inkjet. I'm gonna throw a uh, busy bomb before I plop my inkjet, and now inkjet down. Okay, got a kill. Let's try that guy. Got him. Good, we got two down on the enemy team. We can start moving forward. Uh, I think there's someone up there. I'm gonna start backing off and trying to kill that guy with the long range. Oh, never mind. Need to back off. Okay, I killed that guy at least. Um, the the, fi the fire rate is fast enough on the close range that you can like see that there. I reacted very badly. I didn't react in time, but I still managed to get a kill just because the fire rate is so fast that you can actually get enough mm. shots in on that guy, even though he started firing way earlier. Um, so currently the tower is on the left, on the right side. Okay, trying to hold down paint to help the crab. I'm gonna back off and start using my long range. Maybe try to get some kills on the other side of the tower. Uh, nearly got my special. Okay, that's good. Plopping the special here. Trying to fire the guy. Okay, killed him. That guy here as well. Okay. Uh, also, by the way, yeah, the sound is kind of delayed. Um, because the, because the stream has some delay. I'm thinking maybe you can you can mute me on Discord and just activate the sound on on Twitch. Maybe. I mean, that's a theory. Because that way you get the sync audio. Unless that's already what you're doing. Uh, I am currently alone, this is not good, but I got my special so I'll be able to hold it down. We got more points, so this is good. We just need to hold the score. Uh, okay, using my special. No, get off, get off. You're not gonna drop okay. it at me. Well, I'm dead. Okay, we could climb. We'll climb here at that, at that position, I need to take them back. Yeah, they're heavy. We're gonna go back in manually. They got a crab, so they're holding it down. I'm gonna start painting here because it's not painting too well. Um, okay, 2v3, still doable. Oh, it is definitely not doable anymore. I need to start backing off. I'll use my long range mode to try to do some healing. Oh, they got the freaking thing back. It's definitely not very practical. I don't see anything. I am blind. Ooh, 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 someone's getting too close. How many do we get left? No, 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 they must not get the points. Ah, and I died. Okay, we got the tower back. Two points away. This is tough. Uh, 2v1. Still doable, I'm gonna jump. Could be safe. I didn't use my fizzies enough, I feel like. Kinda forget that I have them. Not something I think about too much. But then again, I've heard lots of people say that the fizzies are kind of weird on this weapon because you kind of like you're, you kind of want to play with your charge, uh, figure out the the charge times and stuff like this, and always have your charge ready and interrupt it. So dropping it for the fizzies is kind of awkward. Ooh, 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 ooh. Might be not from behind. Let me check the map. I'm Oop. gonna paint the the flanks that way we know if someone comes in. Uh, we got two down. This is not cool. I'm gonna start moving forward while the tower is still on the right side, that way we can pressure it from the left side. Okay, try to come at me, yo. Okay, good, I got one. Okay, that guy is coming towards me. Not too good. But I think I am able to survive. So, as you can see throughout the match, I didn't really use my long range anymore. Um, that helped us in the beginning because we had a great push. I don't really know though about the end what I could have done. Probably could have pressured more with my long range shots. Probably. I'm not that good at aiming. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, we still won. This is, this is good.
Uh, let me see what the chat messages say. Generally, when the person is okay, okay, yeah, PC on both points is used as a quick escape with the level one charge, or if you want to get a decent amount of pink at long range. Okay, I feel like it would be mainly for like specific situations. Where, where like a fizzy would be great at doing damage like in a corner or something like that otherwise i don't really know or maybe like something if you want to pressure uh, a backliner and the fizzy could hold them out for longer because it just has three explosions so that could be one way to make use of it um mm, okay i kind of see your point now okay and um i okay so here's a thing i will admit i haven't used a lot of long range mode so i if you want i can do a second game where i just focus on using the long range mode in as many situations that i can um because i also need to kind of figure out my my uh, aiming hold on i'm kind of shaky Woo! let me try to use the bamboozler for a sec fire fire yep my aiming is way too shaky right now <laughs> Okay. So, do you have any thoughts and your opinions on on the uh, game? Oh wait, saw? I'm switching audio. Okay, can you hear me? Yep. So, so I, I was saying, like, do you have any any thoughts or opinions on the game you saw? Any comments to make? Since oh, uh, you are the vocal main, after all. Okay. Um. So. I'm trying to say, okay, you're you're not staying at how you're not staying at tower, not drinking the behind the tower and let the frontline side deal with it. So um, the frontline can can like jump off the tower like wherever they want, and mm -hmm. both point can like uh, assist them. Plus, it's like one one thing I don't really like when people say, "Oh, I'm a backline, I should be on yeah, the tower." It's off. like. It's, uh, you, like the tower has that thing like where if you jump off it still stays still in, in where it is for like I don't know like two five seconds I forgot how, how much time but it's a decent amount of time so you have time to move off do some killing do some painting if you need to for escape routes for later stuff like this and then you can just jump back on the tower and the pull points the bullpen since it's it's good at like weaving in and out of, of long range close range stuff like this it's more mobile so like I would definitely understand if as a Hydra you want to stay on the tower and not move from the tower because that way you can always uh, like just be higher ground, have better sight lines, have time to think about your charge, uh, be harder to hit, right? Because you're, you're a little bit higher. But then if you're the bull point, I feel like it's got enough mobility that it doesn't really need to like stick so closely to the tower. It can afford to move off of it, leave the tower on its own for a bit and do some fighting. And as you can yeah, see, it, like, I, I ha- As one point, it definitely can. Um, and also, I, I observed one thing, that, uh, as a ball point, you're not dealing, like, with the enemies, like, far enough. It means that you're too far behind the tower, and I kind of think you don't have enough range to, like, uh, get some assist, you know? I kind of feel like, in Hagglefish. That's why, that's why I think so. Probably is, uh, I need to watch the replay in order to, like, Confirmation, but yeah, I, I, I definitely have a thing where I don't really like playing the objective too much. I like doing the painting and the killing on the side. That's because, yeah, I back in the beginnings of Splatoon 2, that was I was I would always focus on the objective. Now I kind of don't do it anymore, but I it can definitely kind of work not too bad as you saw in the beginning of the match at least. Um, and also another thing I was gonna mention is I forgot. I'm probably mm -hmm. gonna mention something. Uh, chat, what is chat saying? Uh, bullet point being on tower is more calm dependent than anything. Mm-hmm. Like if you have tr three slayers, you probably should write tower. But if you have support and two slayers, you can let the support write tower. Uh, that is an option, yeah. I, I, don't, point, know, I, I don't know why the slayers couldn't write the tower sometimes, you know? Because slayers, they kind of prefer mobility rather than something. Because as layers you can like want to like attract attention the second the rest of two of them can like shoot the other people that 
are uh, slayers are terrorphobic, unfortunately. Well, yeah, I, yes, I I do understand that. I do understand that. because they can't refer mobility. They don't want to like shoot his power. Yeah. Well, actually, uh, unless I, I'm playing a Slayer no weapon, which is the Splash, because then I would I would love to play on the tower and do some tower play. That would be fun. Um, mm, but sadly, have I have crap. dropped the Splash. <laughs> unless you have crap charge up, then I'm all fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I, I, I had another thing to say, which I completely forgore. It was about yeah, something. That's why. Let me, let me do I another game. Oh yeah, it was about Just the map. Mm -hmm. It was about Hagglefish Just... Market specifically, because the I really like this map um, in Splatoon 3 just o overall, and because mm -hmm. I feel like it gives viability to weapons that wouldn't usually get so much viability, because since it's a flat and linear map, you can basically just play the range game. Um, you, if you get pressured, you can just go back. Basically, if you've got a weapon that is kind of hard to play, but but it has the advantage of having more range, like the Jet Squelcher, you got easy sightlines because it's linear, it's got like very big open mid uh, sightlines, mm -hmm. and if you get pressured, you can just go back. It's it's very practical, I feel. just went back, yeah, yeah, you're right. Uh, I, I do like that map for that. Uh, so let me start another match. I will try to focus on the lane range mode. I feel like I got enough... Um, Enough, um... As long as you'll be like playing more as an anchor. Well, he here's the thing. Here's the thing. I think it's kind of pointless to like assign roles to the bullpen, like say, oh, you should be anchor or, or whatever, because it's not like like you the firing modes, right? You switch them hmm. so quick. Uh, like, oh, I'm in close range. Now I'm, I'm gonna be in long range. Long range. Now I'm in close range again. It's like. It doesn't really matter, it's not because you use a certain firing mode that you should be like Anchor or Slayer or whatever else word that you want to use. It just depends on which one would be most useful for the situation. Um, mm. And right. you don't have to be like, oh, now I want to use my long range mode, so I'm going to move to an Anchor spot. You're like, I'm going to move back, it doesn't matter if I'm in an in a Anchor spot or not, I move back as, as much as I can to start firing long range, right? It's like. Though, let's say there there's one player, right? One slayer. You're like, mm, I'm gonna I'm gonna fight with them. I've got close range, and then another one props in. You're like, hmm, maybe I should start backing off, and because I can't handle those two, so I'm gonna start backing off and using my long range mode. Doesn't matter if you're on on a tower or anything. You just I'm gonna back off and use more range, because that's one thing you can do. You can trade being close with having long range, because that's a that's your weapon's gimmick. Yeah, and yeah, the, the sh first fire counts, the short range smoke counts are used to uh, deal with flanks and stuff. Okay, so what do we got in Although the team comp? We flanks. got Flash Blast on our side, which is pretty good at fighting against Tower. Okay. I feel like the Dapples aren't going to be as useful though. I mean, they're going to be good at slaying. Then we got the two end zaps, uh, the heavy and the duelies are going to be hard um, to play against because they're going to be able to get in very fast. Oh, so oh, currently, oh, I'm just focusing oh, on painting. Um, again, you can just switch the audio back to Twitch uh, if that's more useful. To get the same thing no, as I'm audio. A lot of actual time to Twitch, so I rather just like shut up for me and limit myself. Bro, the... Yep. Yeah, um, someone is uh, okay. Yes, yeah, so that that's the duels. Um, who got in close again? I feel like they're gonna be the main issue currently. And in the team comp, because they're gonna be able to get way more close than I want them to be. Uh, so right now I'm gonna focus on using the long range mode, as I said I would. I probably need to have better sightlines if I want to do that. Um, like I, we probably need to push the tower far enough that where that it's like past the mid. Okay, let me fight with that heavy splash lane. Never mind. Maybe I can take an off angle on the side on the left side here. And flank them. Uh, maybe that's something I can do. I'm gonna paint an escape route on the wall here. That way, if I ever need to go back, I can I can go on the wall and start using my long range mode to prevent people from getting in. So here, I'm not painting too much. I just got low ink. This kind of sucks. Gonna use this guy. Nope, 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 nope. Well, yeah, but I'm I'm respawning on the other side. You are dead because my Fast fire rate is faster than yours. Um, I'm gonna start painting on the side to annoy them. 
Now they're getting close to me. I've got long range fire to contest them. Never mind, they've got crab. Okay. I'm gonna start using a freezy. Maybe that's gonna annoy them for a while without me having to be there, basically. Which is good. Try painting back to have an escape route. Okay. Uh, paint here on the side. Maybe I can take that angle, actually, if I want to use the long range mode. That could be useful. If I get pressure, I can always use my special. Like he's getting close, maybe not. Okay, good for now. Okay, I got one. I got one. This is good. Gonna back up that they're starting to throw some subs. Gonna defend the spot while my teammate respawns. Okay, good. Uh, Fizzy bomb. That way I can move in closer. So I want to use the long range fire rate of mode thing. I need to remember that. Where are the enemies? There's one on the left side. Start moving here. Hopefully nobody's there. Never mind. And they got me. Eat this. Oh, I'm getting up on there. Okay, forget about me. And now I do. I do this. Okay, good. So see there, I, I did a first shot with the long range fire rate, uh, fire mode, and then I was able to use uh, my close range one to finish him. So that's pretty useful. It's like. Hmm, I want to be precise, aim at some people. Oh, I hit a shot. Oh, he's getting closer. Now I just switch back to the to the close range fire rate, fire fire mode. And then I, I managed to hit more shots faster and with less accuracy to basically make sure I kill them. Very fast fire rate. I shouldn't have survived this, but it works. Okay, probably should have used my special there. Uh, how is the match looking? We still have the point advantage. We haven't gotten past the first checkpoint though, so... Need to be there with my teammates, assist them. Um, I don't want them to die. They might die. I'm not there with them. Um, gonna start painting, painting, painting. Because that way, at least if our team dies, we've got enough paint to stop them and get back to mid safely. I'm gonna start using my special before I die. Uh, definitely. That way, we get a little bit more pressure on the map. We get them back. That way, we don't necessarily get paint control on mid, but we get enough. Fuck it. Yeah, oh, oh, I nearly escaped. At least I did just the, the threat of being able to die by an inkjet makes you kind of back off. I don't think that was enough though. Uh, I don't like how this is going. I don't like this crap. I don't like this crap. We're gonna lose. Oh, it's going downhill. Arr! Okay, we gotta wipe out. I'm gonna start moving forward. Um, we're gonna use the tower as a vantage point. Okay, got that guy. We need to kill that guy before he stops the tower. We've taken the lead. Okay, great, great. Um, so I guess I had a question for you because there's another thing that could influence like why some strats work and some others don't. For different players is like which rank we're on um so what 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 is your rank mr big jones okay my rank actually i'm currently sitting at a okay okay and currently i'm sitting at at a rank and uh yeah mostly i don't do series mostly i do series like during weekends but that series during weekends are kind of stressful mm-hmm yeah. Well, current, currently I'm at um, S rank, so not too far off, and I'm playing series, so it's it's probably a little more, a, a little bit more tense, a little bit better players, more focused players. So yeah, I don't know. I, I kind of think that A is so really really strong. Yeah. Yeah. All right. About that match, I don't know because like I feel like the other with the other weapon rolls, I kind of expecting. I'm not expecting like somebody to take the tower actually, so that's why I see that uh, the power is not pushing that much because they're expecting someone to be on the tower. Mm -hmm. And yeah, the the match is kind of tense too because it's it's kind of uh, hard to create a really good number of advantage. Now you can only push the power by bits and bits. It, it's it's it. kind of basically I feel like whenever I, whenever I watch pro players, I feel like their matches are really slow in terms of the objective, but like. There's so much stuff happening outside of the objective. They're 
So like, it's like you've got the last piece of, of, of a good meal that you want to eat, right? And you guys are fighting for who's going to eat it. And you guys are not even eating it or even thinking about the thing. You're just like fighting so hard to have Healing. the right to eat it. And that's basically yeah, just like what happens. We're, we're yeah. just getting a few points in the beginning of the match. And we're just trying to fight to stay with those points. And whenever someone gets lucky and gets a wipeout, that's when you can make the major push. But otherwise, it's mainly a, a, a stalemate, I like to call it. Um, and I definitely like to participate in the stalemate. Be be active in the fighting, not necessarily focus on the tower that much. Maybe to my detriment, because I do not even consider the like some sometimes you know we get enough kills we we don't have the wipeout message, and since we don't have it, then my brain doesn't trigger and it's like oh we got three three down on the enemy team, and the tower is just sitting there ready to be climbed on. Maybe I should do that, but my brain doesn't register it. Yeah, it's dumb. So yeah, I definitely have my Probably own issues. All from my salmon run. From my salmon run uh, instinct, like I keep uh, focusing on the hut uh, a bit more actually too. So when I see like a free wipe, then I think, oh, it's time to push out, push the objective, just just run out. Yep. Yeah. De definitely, you know, like, shooters, shooters game like these with objectives, different things you can do like movement, shooting, ob objectives, stuff like this. It's like it's a game of being able to focus on as many different things as you can at once and. It definitely takes skill, and even I am not uh, able to focus on every single thing at once, but at least I can offer some tips on the things I do focus on, which, well, they're not the objective, but the, with the ballpoint, I'm, I'm doing some pretty good fighting, so that that's cool. Mm. I also like how you use the inkjet, like, uh, the delay shots, so you can, like, protect the escape routes of the opponents. Mm-hmm. Also, I don't know yeah, if you is. if you noticed. Um, well, the, the the thing with the inkjet is that it's kind of hard to hit people um, directly, yeah, kind of cool yeah. um, and and get a kill. But if you see the radius of the explosion, it's kind of big, and that's ex that's paint that's gonna. It's kind of like a burst bomb, right? If someone tries to escape, you throw a burst bomb their way, and they're gonna be struggling to get past the burst bomb. Basically, they're gonna like be kind of stuck for a second and that allows you to aim your, your other shots so I don't know if you saw during the game but like s someone was trying to take the ramp to get back to their base and I, I was kind of yeah, like mm, I'm not gonna be able to hit them because they're moving too fast I kind of tried to hit above like in front of them that way they can't really get up the ramp and maybe with enough uh, shots that hinder them at some point they're gonna get enough damage to die and that's mainly the way I kill people with the inkjet, uh, as, as you probably could have seen. My, my, probably my, uh, how to say, my mindset of thinking about right? I'm like preventing him to like getting through the ramp. Like, firing shots like, uh, just like in front of him. Okay, you're getting that ramp, no you're not. Uh, like, if you want to get that ramp, then you're going to get the ladder. Yep. So that just punish him accordingly. Yeah, that's Ooh. why I kind of my technique with inkjet. I, I'm kind of like you treat it as an area denial. Like I'm yep. not letting you get into this area. Exactly. Yes. Great vantage point and good area denial. It's actually pretty similar if you think about it to how the to how the explosion plays. Yeah. Um, I, I do. I do feel like uh, actually the inkjet and the crap thing are kind of similar because the crap thing allows you to be a, um, a, a kind of an explosion for a while. But he, yep. I, I still feel like the the crap tank is way too overpowered uh, compared to other like it's not overpowered. It just has too much options of things that you can do. Because the inkjet, while it does function like an explosher, I feel like the crap tank's explosher shots just are better, have more like range uh, on the explosion and stuff. Also, well, the the thing that the inkjet has over the crap tank is that it can fly cover basically so you can get on top of cover that the crap thing would have a hard time getting it on cover mid -air, yeah yeah so that is, that's pretty cool we can also get on, on spots like for example in Hagglefish, the two towers on the side very useful crap tank could, could never go there so that's that's something cool but then the crap thing it can use it can be a hydra also if it wants to also crap thing it has like uh, invincibility if you get in the ball so yeah crap thing definitely has a little bit too um, much invincibility in the ball i kind of disagree because like you can shred the ball well, it, well yeah, but like, it's it's um, like a very big shield, which can move. It's it is, it's, but it's you have object shredder, then it's actually a crap kill. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, but basically it's like it's like whenever you pop a booyah bomb, you got some armor. But the, here the armor can move. <laughs> like, 
it, uh, it, yeah, it, yeah, it right. does all it, kind of a lot of things that other specials do, but it does it all at once. That's kind of the thing. It doesn't. It feels like it has too much. But anyways, I don't know where we're even talking about the trap, the crap thing. Should probably reserve that talk for my podcast. Um. So I get. I guess with this, we're we're good. Uh, Unless you do want to do some additional games with, where you pick the bullet point and I kind of try to play with you. Uh, otherwise, I think we're good. Maybe. Also, you, also, you're lagging right now. Uh, it does. Uh, can't hear you correctly. Whoop. Anyways, while we figure out the audio issues, connection, I think this is this is good for now. We we did a good episode, so I'm gonna microbot dawn. Okay. How much time have I been streaming? One hour and 30 minutes, okay. This is definitely longer than I would have expected uh, for just like reviewing two games, but then we ended up talking a lot and I guess doing two additional games. So yes. I'm sorry I'm like lost for uh, a brief moment. I don't know what happened to the internet. Yep. I don't know. So, yeah, I, I was saying we, we done, we're done with VOD review for your games. That That's pretty, pretty cool. Um, maybe mm. you, you want to play some games with me, like just off uh, of Void Review, just with the bullet point, and then we, we just play casual matches. Yay, let's do that, actually. Well, I can, I can play some a few matches. So, um, my friend code is actually on uh, this call server, which is... Yeah. Yep. Let me um, just uh, grab the friend You can send it in the, in the text chat of the, of the voice channel. I'm yep. also gonna try... It's on the VC chat. And here we go. I still have my my thing which doesn't work my app. That sucks. Okay. Probably I can add you to I think let me see. I, I can guess... see your profile. Um... Oh but your profile does not have the friend code. Hmm. I need to reinstall the app. Why does it want to work? Can I add you instead, probably? Uh, can yeah. you, like, type um, your friend code? You, you should be able to ask the bot what my friend code is, uh, if you know how that works. Okay. Mr. Let me Spike. do that now. Come back in a sec while the app is installing. I'll be back. Okay.
room. Oh, that. Yeah, I'm back. Alright, I'm in the uh, turf war. Let me just uh, finish this turf war first. Okay. I still have a uh, half a minute and I got swamp. Oh god. People are like, just uh, shooting in front of me. I cannot answer them. Uh, Okay. Help. All right, climb back up. App is working again. That's good. Oh my god! Oh, the Inkbus just challenged me. Damn. Mm, she probably. I got team like not doing good in turf war either. Help! 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 Oh, fine, yeah, no. I think in turf war you especially need to focus on on the close range uh, fast fire rate painting mode because it's it's good at painting and you need lots of painting in turf war. Yeah, that's why I thought so, but uh, I got out paint, I got challenged a lot. Yeah, keep yeah. getting jumped. Pa painting, like I mean, uh, turf war, I think is maybe one of the hardest modes. It's not really hard. It's just it's. They're basically, you know, on on objective game modes, people can flank you kind of, but here on Turf War, everything is a flank, because there is no objective to to flank on. Everything is an objective, so everything is a flank for every objective. Because if if there's ground, that's something you need to paint. There's no limit <laughs> to what you need to paint, and there's no limit to where people can go or hide. Hmm. Anyways, the uh, room is up. Okay, so... I will join. I have an idea of which weapon I want to pick. So I will pick the weapon. Yep. So uh, let's see how can I do well in this. Okay, Ooh. this is Rainmaker on uh, Shipyard and Wahoo. Rainmaker. Okay. Hmm. There are places that want to, want to. Good looking shoes. Okay. Hmm. Places that I don't want to be in when I'm around a Rainmaker. Should I aim for that Rainmaker or no? Uh, so we are doing Rainmaker. No, okay, not this one, not this one. Yeah, what happened? Okay. Uh, Anarchy, yeah. Yep. Okay, then my role will be, be playing kind of a bit line ish kind of. I don't have to rush for a uh, Rainmaker though. Just wait for the opponent to pop Rainmaker or rush for a Rainmaker. I caught him correctly. The bad part, like. The bad part will be like. If you, if you get splattered from by a Rainmaker shield, it's kind of weird. Yeah, that's what I'm afraid. That shit, yeah. Ugh, I don't like shit, yeah. Hmm. I mean, ship here can be, mm, I guess, all right for the bull point because it's got it, like the two sides of the map are pretty kind of linear. And if you ever mm. need to back off, you can kind of back off into mid, which has like higher ground and it's kind of like further from the approach entries of the enemies so if you get on like the the middle of mid 
you can basically back off enough to use your long range move, I feel like. Right, and then if you need to back oh, off even try, more, try you can go on the on the little uh, rotating platform. Alright. I don't know. Oh, that. Wait, where's the map structured? I never I never played it on Rainmaker. Oh no! Alright, back out, back out, back out, back out. Ah. <laughs> okay. Alright, trade it. Trade it, trade maker. I, I think that's the first time I played Maybe not, maybe not, but. Uh. Oh, they got range. Oh, they got the squeeze. Oh my god. Oh, I can't get it. Oh, the trash rider got me, sorry. That's okay, that's okay. Oh, trash striker has an uh, ink punisher on it. I got my shield, let me use my shield. Boop, shield is up. Boom. Boom. Up there. I can't aim. Oh. I'm bad. I'm bad oh, at the game. Oh, that's bad. <clears throat> I am so terrible. I could scan, Man that's right. Not working a lot for me. I got my scan thing. Oh, it throws way too far. Oh, Shanker, right? Grab it? No. Oh, no. Wait, I, oh, no. Oh! Well, got me. Oh my Ooh. god. Try Shanker inside. Ridiculous. Ooh. Focus on scanning them. All right. No oh, one fell down. No. Oh, damn. Oh, by the squeezer, okay. I'm not allowed to put... Oh my god, I got a lot of death. Oh my god. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I am so bad at aiming. It's been so long since I've actually used snipers. Oh my god. What's that? What? The champagne can aim that high? Oh my god. Oh, I hit my first shot. Let's go. First kill. <laughs> There's someone there. Stop hitting it. I'm gonna hit you. Alright. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, you're not getting it. You mean guy. It's hiding. All right, I forget it. Let's go scan. Oh, we got too much range. All right, that's why I'm just top off the thing. The hot well, one minute, 30, 30 seconds when left. Blaster, be careful. You haven't oh, done yeah. anything. Uh, nope. Oh, damn Hello it. Hello there, buddy. Blaster. Blaster. Oh my god, Blaster's not on her. I am so bad. They're gonna hold us down in that area, I feel like. Oh, never mind. They're moving up. Oh, got it. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Trash tracker is so good. The one shot at me. Ooh, I don't like where this is going. I don't like where this is going. I got it. I got it. Let's go. Second kill of the game. Oh my god, what's that? Flash. Oh, back to that by the doctor. 
No, not jump. Go, ouch. At least you got a shield. And we are dead. Oh, we got absolutely smooshed into off. the ground. Okay, I definitely didn't do good at doing mid. I feel like I'm feeding. I probably got two kills and that's it. Dang. Yeah. Let's do another match. Mm -hmm. I'm not functioning well, I don't know why. I know some part that a tri tri striker has the tri stringer has a has very good aim. I have no idea if they can ink that ink that long. Well luckily is this is not theory, it's on my god. Alright. Are you changing weapons or or not? Uh nope, I'm I'm keeping my stuff. <laughs> my god. Oh, I got. Wait, no way. I got five kills? Impossible. I don't agree. I only got two. This is factual. I counted. Maybe they count assists. Well, uh, they do, but how did? It, how can you get assist with a sniper? <laughs> I am. I am bamboozled, and I'm not even using the bamboozler. Uh. Let me check. Uh, what what I want to see. Oh, I wanted to check my rewards. I don't know. I feel like the ballpoint is not good at a one v one. Like, you, got you shot need to use walls. Easily. It definitely has way less range than other shooters, but it has way faster killing time. So if you use the cover of the map appropriately, you can you can like surprise someone that didn't see you and just instantly kill them, and they don't even know what happened because it's just so fast. Yeah, I think at times I feel like I'm panicking, or really like I forgot to switch the modes. That's the that's the leash part. <laughs> okay, same map. So as always, I'm gonna play as the mid line. I'm not going to use the use the. Got a Hydra and otherwise we full strength weapons. Hydra, my nemesis. Oops, going back in the game. I, I, I feel like maybe nope. you... Can you use your... Oh, your... Back up, back up, back up, back yeah. up. What is wrong with oh. that? The way maker came from another Bubble. The Hydra is going to be a problem because it's up on the high ground. And actually, it went oh, too far that. back. I went too far back. Hydra, no! I should have 
don't have enough ping on mid. We have like too much energy. It's gonna be hard to move. Oh, you have the. Okay, C can you use it to paint a lot? Just like everywhere? Oh shoot, I fell down. Just is steal it as long as you can. Just fire your shots. No! Oh, they're coming up on you. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Bam. Oh, you, you fell down. Okay. Oh, reset. Okay. Well, I don't think that's too good. I'm so sorry. I'm very close. Oh, oh my god. Ah, I can't aim. No! Not good, not good, not good. Let me see. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, they can go up there? Guy. No way. That's a shortcut? I can't even aim at people that are super jumping in. I'm so bad. Mm. Alright, trade it with this trash usher. Get that. Get that. Get the Rainmaker. That's the vibe. I probably cannot get that, but we can push my ass. No, don't go down. Don't go down, buddy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh! Oh my god, I'm doing very bad. Oh, there's no way I can do that. Wrong. They gotta win. Okay. Mm. I think it's time I pull out the big guns. Okay. Keyword, guns. That's something that... I don't know because it tends to like die a lot, I think. And I get on, my kill like, count. On I got them, two kills. Keep throwing bombs at me. Four, okay. <laughs> uh stop. I hit stop by the way. Uh sorry for not saying I it earlier. Yeah. Okay, so I will pick pull up the big guns, as I said. Um, where's my big gun? It is here. The one and only. Okay. Okay, okay. Where's the last one? Ooh, oh, nice. Shrek is the big guns. You don't use your, um, how do I say? Your slots a lot. You can like, save your fashion gear. Let's go. Okay, let's see. Keyword no. gun. That's the keyword. The gun part. I'm gonna play a bit laid back like the anchor, like that glider. Or... No, 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 I'm a slayer. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm like asking what should, uh, should my role be? Oh, you? I keep on using uh, for mode. Um, I have no clue. I mean, I'm I I'm not one that stuff. really thinks about like roles and stuff that much. Um, it's like I, I can think about it in theory, but usually whenever mm -hmm. I'm in a game and I want to give like practical advice, I won't say like, oh, take anchor spots or something, because I have no clue what those are. I'm just like, oh, get closer. Oh, put oh, more yeah. paint down or stuff like that. Okay, this map. They got oh. two things. Uh, they got the a full point. point. This is gonna be interesting. 
Let me paint, I will paint everything down. Oh my god, little platforms. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah, we got that oh. guy. Bye bye. Ooh, let's go. We're doing good. Don't go for too much. Ow, ow, ow. Well, I want you want to die. Hey, pretty good, pretty good. Someone got me. Okay. Don't go for it too much. We need to I super jump. Oh, that guy's gonna die. He is dead. Okay. Where are they going to? Oh. Ah. Uh, throw that music. It feels like you guys are down in the middle of enemy. In this one. Not too good. Ha! <laughs> Can't do anything to the wall. Got me aim back. Didn't... Wasn't too useful, but okay. Oh, the ball point! How can this ball point be much better than me? No! Alright, I'm gonna take that justice. Ooh, they... Oh, we take... We? Okay, we... Okay, I thought they were scoring a lot and that's why the noise was happening, but no, actually, we're doing good. Let's go. Actually, someone just, like, blank. Blank the enemies, so that's why they are, like, I'm getting a lot of... Oh, uh... uh, the middle of the map is still paying way too much in the enemy's color, and that's my fault, because I'm the big player. Oh. Oh, we're trying. They're using a back rock. They're using the uh, right route now. I guess one thing you could do is whenever you match with like ball points, you can like look at the replay and kind of watch their point of view, and that way you can see what they're doing. Yeah, I'm trying to do it too. Because if you feel like that ball point is doing very good and like getting kills on you, then maybe it would be interesting no. to like copy their exact. I mean, see what their exact playstyle is and oh, why it's oh, working so well. No, that's a crap. Yes, it is. The other point is looking at me. I feel like you don't have any escape routes. You need to start escaping. Bro, bro, bro. Escape. Oh my god. Someone's coming. Hello. Ow. Done. Why do they keep using the the the, the right route? Oh. Oh my gosh. This zip gets to got me. Oh, I thought they were gonna die, but they can't die because they're in the zip cast, so they just respawn. Oh, me, oh. What are we doing? You're not doing good. I'm not doing good. Um, thinking. Go up. No, no, no. Why didn't I kill that guy? I need, I need high ground. Oh, let's go. Got that guy. Oh, they keep using the right one. Okay. Push. Okay. We need to ping sure. back mid. So just stay stay here. And give the points. We still got the advantage. Why are you pushing too much? We don't need the point. We already got the advantage. We just need to ping mid again. Ow! Hang on. Okay, mid is painted pretty alright. So that's good. Oh, I got. Oh, I got discovered. Okay, no way I can jump. Okay, and now I'm just paint mid. <laughs> 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 oh my god! Boom! Let's go. Let's go.
They used the wrong route. Bye. <laughs> Let's go. I like that. I like, I like how they are throwing burst punch at the back of the stage just to bomb specials. Oh, but it's a very close match. I have to agree. Not my typically good one. Okay, my my kill down ratio is an even one. Oh my god, that's haptic. Is this an S plus match? This is haptic. Hello? 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 Yep. Oh. Hello. Oh yeah, the new person? It's yeah, there's a new person here, but passive I think it's slash just sleepy. Just so I I guess those two descriptors should tell you that they're not gonna be talking. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm gonna join a room now. Oh, the room just disbanded. Okay. I wanna open the new room. A uh, new room? Yeah. Oh. I can stop, so I just spend it, yeah. Okay. You can join. Oh, I'll talk once the round starts, though. Okay. Got me matched. Oh, never mind. <laughs> you can go in a match while I, I do it. Oh, yeah, yeah, then I gotta watch you too. Right. Just to let you know, I'll kind of I'll talk once the one starts, though. I sent Oh, so that was you. Okay, I'll check it. I'll check it. Flankers, no problem. <sighs> uh, Oh, we won? No way. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. That thing to me doing anything. Okay. Uh, so let me add you. So I can probably do one more match then I have to do some live stuff. Okay. Add friend. Friend. Friend is added. Nice. Do -do 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 -do. Actually, oop. Yep. Wait, I didn't. It's not cool, but I might. Oh, Tentabrella. Oh, I need to watch Tentabrella as well. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's go in. Yes. Um, Room. I will make a room. Oop. Yep. Please make a room. Oh, see it. 
Passive, uh, wait, you're still selecting your weapons, okay. By the way, while I'm at it, um, let me share the poll. That way, you guys can answer. Great. Copy link. Okay. Okay. Copy the link. Let's do it. Charger. I can deal so, with the charger. First, Mia is going to go to the left side because, like, it seems that we can get her with it. I got it. Back. Oh, no, 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 no. Someone's trying to bomb at me and someone is aiming from behind. The clash. Charger. Gotta go. Going for the objectives now. Let's go. Off of one shot. Got charger. No. Oop, heard someone died behind. Oh. Someone eat to me. Um, Big Spring is not in a good position to jump. Yeah, I'm not in a good position to jump. Okay. How are you doing alright? Uh, Splash probably copy. start backing off. Yeah, they got rain maker. Okay, where are we going? Going up. Let's go. Oh. Yeah, I should have not been speed. <laughs> nope. And that got me. And Stepper got me. Number disadvantage. Oh, oh, oh. Get out of there. Where's oh, Rainmaker is on the right side. Yep. Uh, in fact, not. It's on the left side. This guitar is low. Watch out. They're lagging. Bye. Whoa. Let's go. Got it. I got I got my uh aim back. Good job. Uh the little underpassage is inked in a lot of enemies. I'm gonna ink it back up. Top charger. Good up. 3v2, that's good. You guys can probably push, there's gonna be no one in front for a while. Charger. Yep, thank yeah. you. Oh, 
Ooh, let's go. We got anything back? I'm not gonna go back. Back. That's temper. That's temper. Oh, I go, got go, mine. Go, go, go. Let's go. Got a ring back. I'm gonna try to flank them on the right side. Whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a lot of points. Oh, and we got a lot of the map. Look at the map. It's so cool. Uh, we can probably just hold down mill. Or just keep pushing, I guess. As long as we don't all die at the same time. That was not a good jump. Rainmaker's right here. Oh, Sanford drop, drop down. Sanford drop down. Let's go. Rainmaker on the right side. Let's go. go. I'm gonna go, go back paint forward. Go and jump in. All right, Here. Uh, uh, I'm coming something. back. I got Enzap and Charger. Sultan is up uh, upper level of their base. He dropped down. Ow! Hey, Damper down. No, 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 no. Rainmaker down. We need to, like, get the Rainmaker in order to score. Oh, nine seconds. Let's go. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. Get back here. Get back here. Oh, they're all cornered. If you throw a bomb, they're all dead. Okay, let's go. Nice. He has bombed them from top. Yeah, corner, just throw, throw a fizzy bomb and just bonk him. <laughs> yeah, good match, everyone. Thank you. Wait, that was me. You guys Sometimes when I like, review the matches that we have. Last device and connect to this computer mal malfunctioned, or Windows does not recognize it. Do you mean my camera that just died? Jesus uh, Christ, my camera is GG's. dead. <laughs> oh well, whatever. Oh well. It's like you. Oh. Hey, you just plugged in something that we don't recognize. It's just my camera that was already plugged in, and it just died. We're off. Well, well, um, thank you for the match. I have some live stuff to do, so maybe they can, we can, we can do some what next time. No problem. So thank you for tuning in. Okay. Bye bye. <laughs> oh, okay. Bye. -bye. Uh, Chris, can we leave matchmaking so my friend can join really quick? Oh yeah, true. Let me restart the game. Do 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 do. The news, and my stick is broken. Amazing. <laughs> New maps and mode. Uh, okay. I'll make the room.
because it's faster. I will get one. You join at yep. the same time. That, just wait. I mean, especially because the other guy probably has you, Brandon, and not me. Yeah, they do. Alright, their room is up. Their password is 2580. All down the middle. Wait. I messed that up. What? I am just bad at writing numbers. Try pinging them? Yeah, trying to figure out where they are right now. Oh, maybe they found it. Wait, what are the maps? Scorch Gorge what? and Museum Splat Zones. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that doesn't seem like a very fun uh, zone map, especially for Scorch Board. Interesting. Open sidelines. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, okay, yes, the strat is gonna work if I can find my gear. Hmm. I will take Thermalink. And, Thermalink uh, on Dapples? Don't ask questions. <laughs> Okay. And then which one is the other I one? I usually run my thermal ink on H3 or... It's fine, it's fine. Uh, where's where's my gear? I can't sort it because my stick is broken. <laughs> uh, I need to buy a new controller. Uh... Hello. Oh, it's 2580. It's same as usual, same as usual. Uh, special saver and... Oh yeah, and then I need special drop roller. Roller. I remember now. Oh my god, what if I just played special spam YouTuber? You monster. No, I'm not gonna do that. Are you guys, are you both playing doubles? I'm not. No. Well, I'm switching weapons. You guys scare me sincerely. Look, I'm switching weapons, alright? It's not that bad, trust me. I mean, Scorch Horse seems like a fun, fun time for a stamper. Magic Dap Holes! Magic Dap Holes. Still questioning it, though. I have no idea, quite honestly. Where is my... What? 
Do you have any other type of stuff? I don't. Really? Okay. Well, I guess I don't. It's one of many sins. Mm, what did I? What did I gonna do? Oh, look. Yeah. Good. Well, actually, I think I should go with something for more rain because we don't have that much of that. I suppose we'll do the trick. Oh, oh, I can't train because I don't, I don't have the L stick. I hate this. I can't access the map of the of the training room. You can always just find your yeah. key yeah. it, or like your L's controller mapping. But you have to go into the actual switch settings for that. No, I have remapped my because my R stick is broken. But since I need to use specials, well, I kind of remapped it to the L stick. But s now I don't have an L stick. It's fine, I guess, because it's the one that you use, you use the least. But it's annoying. My friend, you may be spamming specials too hard. No. Okay, so here's here's the thing. The stick worked fine. I left my controller on the table. I went back from eating. It didn't work anymore. But everything else was fine. And literally nothing else happened in the meantime. It just I just left my controller on the table and then it just uh, it died. Do you guys mind if I just fuck around a little bit? Like not too much. I don't mind. Yeah. I kinda I kinda okay. dipped from other people that I was playing with because the vibe was off. It was very off. <laughs> Fair. I did that earlier today as well. Now the way I dipped from most pieces because the vibes are off. They are not. Good. Yeah. That makes sense. My favorite. Uh, you gotta ready up. Right. Oh, so uh, yeah, oh, no. okay. okay. I like stamper. I do too. I named wiper and stamper for a little while, but now I'm going back to stamper. I played wiper during spot fest. I hated that because I am not good at wiper. I can barely use Splatana some days, but the, I think this is a good Splatana day. Oh, yeah. We got uh, splash or swoosh going left. Stop them in their tracks. Got another swoosh. They have the most swoosh. We got double swoosh. Got spinner. On my out, they're both jumping in now. They're painting my base. Oh my god, oh my god. You got 
the sea bags. Can't really do much with the threat of a sploosh being in our face. Nice. Wiper dropped. Got sploosh. Got the wiper. Let's go, gunning from behind. Tricked him. Let's go. Nice. Love Push up some. Have to keep aware of my surroundings. Sploosh is coming in from left. We've got one sploosh. Other sploosh is down, okay? Yeah, he's just staying out here. I know, I have something to say, sure. Thank you. Thank you for staying alive. I am so Let's go. Shot my ouch. Okay, let's go. Oh nice. Okay. Paint zone, paint zone, paint zone. Ran out of ink. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're good. Oh. The They're all Walk respawning. I got two. Nice. Those squishes are running way too much quick respawn and not enough skin food. They don't know how to play the weapon correctly. Oh man, push got me. Uh, how did I get the rest of the fight? Ah. Uh, I hope our splatter shop friend jumps out of there. No problem. I got two. Got a double. Let's push. Pushing their base flank. frontliners. Pushing their base. Yep. I got our flank. Double sploosh flanking. Oh, three of them down. Oh yeah, three of them down. Sploosh on me. Alright, got him. Oh. I got a major frame drop. Big log. Double you. Okay, that's good. Nice. Good job, good job. Can I make this coin notification? Since when? What are the scores? Yo, 25 kills with the explosher. Nice. Thank you. Passive. You popped up. Passive, more like aggressive. Uh. Look, that used to be my name. I am no longer aggressive, right? Just <laughs> passive, right? I'm not trying to be aggressive if I'm playing a passive. I don't think. I don't think I ever knew you was aggressive. I think I've only known you as positive. Or am I stupid? I'm probably stupid. Is it only me who thinks that Explosher actually like 
point sensor is a really good sub for it. Yeah, actually. Really good for tracking. But personally, yeah. I prefer Sprinkler, even though I played the point sensor baller kit a ton. That's fair, that's fair. Then again, Sprinkler Baller was its only good kit in Splatoon 2. Pass on zone. <laughs> nice. Okay, there's one over and left the the bush. Yep, he's dead. Nice. I'm gonna do a if I'm good. That's why I can throw. Okay, I staggered one of them. You have a beacon in your base. Flatwing left, guys. Flatwing left with glass. Ow! Do that. Coming out. I've got him soon. Oh. How did I survive that? Mm -hmm. Ooh, I nice. didn't survive my fights. Oh. Yes, yes, he's one shot, he's one shot, he's one shot. Get him, baby, oh. no! I messed it up. Oh, there's your captain. Ah, Octopus got me. He said, Caster, my worst enemy. Oh, yeah. Does that be absolutely nuts if you're looking? Oh, come on. <laughs> Come on, Ryan. I can't find the slotting machine. Oh, I scanned him. Nice. Let's go. Thermal link is really killing fruit. Ah, uh, the pro got me. The pro got me. I got behind you. Okay. I did not have a paint zone. Paint zone, please. Paint zone, please. Please. Oh no. I think we're gonna lose that Because we're... Yeah, we're gonna lose it. Yeah. I can't fight it. I don't have area. I don't have oh. map control. I can't do anything. Oh, the map is yeah. completely painted in your color. Sorry. Yeah, I couldn't do anything because I didn't have map control. <sighs> oh, where's my control? It's cute. Right here. I have a poll uh, on my YouTube community page thing uh, about like which game mode you do people prefer. Uh, maybe you guys want to ent enter in your votes. Uh, maybe you guys want to be boring and say that it's online battles like everybody else. <laughs> I don't know. Never. Or maybe you guys want to be spicy and, and vote for something else and change the tides of the results before the video comes out. 
pick spicy, so I guess I am pretty spicy. That can be a tough bit spicy. A part of me is lazy. So like, if you send me the link, I'll go vote. But like... It, it, it's, in, it's in chat. Oh, yeah, online for, for sure. Do -do -do -do. Oh, they Even though I really like so Able Turf, online win. Not a good idea. Where? I'll stand you. Yeah, they have this lock in for me. I'm playing with him. Oh no. Ow. Oh. But I had bevs, so it's fine. <laughs> okay. Only the expert can spin me. I think they're behind us. Oh. Some help. Yeah. faster. Like, oh. Dude. Ooh, they're like inside a crab tank. That's disappointing. I know where the pro is at all times. Oh my god, I can't use the caster sometimes. Got him. I mean, base? How, did they, how did they make that jump? What? Guys, paint zone. Oakers, paint zone. I'm doing that. Thank you, thank you. I'll get back in their base. Right. Oh, fuck. Oh. Got X well. We have the better X well for the reason. I'm going out the window. I got Don't fire shot throw. Damn it. Oh, we're getting sucked from left. Let's go. They were too late. Their suck wasn't fast enough. All right, guys, back out, back out. I need to switch my weapon because I'm not too good with Xbox. Back out, okay. who almost hit the continue button. Uh, should I make room again? You got two white suits? No way. Yes, yeah, I'll make the room again. 
Just give me a second. Where you thought? Apparently, did not. You did not subscribe. Definitely did not. Okay, anyways. I should change my weapon. For realsies. So I'm gonna use Spotana, because I, I was using it earlier today. Okay, you split out. I feel I feel confident right now, quite honestly, I'm not gonna lie. Ooh, confidence, baby. For reals. Oh wait, should I wait, busy, should I pull out sploosh? I mean actually no, you play Splatana because now the mention of sploosh and swim speed makes me want to play sploosh. <laughs> Even okay. though I suck ass at Sploosh, but it's fine. Well, Sploosh well, and I Sub mean... power up three mains of it. No. no. Yes. Busy, busy, no. I think it goes forever. Okay, I'm gonna play Sploosh, and you look at the set that I run, because I'm, like, probably the only person that mains Sploosh in comp. In comp? Yes, I so three minutes of swim speed because I feel like it. No, that's that's not, yeah. not what you run. That's not I what know. you run. You're you're hurting me in unimaginable ways. Hold on. Or I could ruin it even more. Who mains and why? <gasps> no, I actually, have a better idea. Run speed. Actually, run speed is a run speed is okay on sploosh, just not more than a main. I have three mains of it. Is that good? I'm gonna leave this match. I am going to leave. No. Oh, Chris, no. Don't join her. Oh my gosh. Don't worry, I'm such an awesome Splish. I'm actually like bad at Splish. It's so bad. If you see my gameplay, I can't play the weapon. Just, just, just let me play Splish, please. No, I, I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. Oh, Chris, just let me play Sploosh, please. We don't need more than one Sploosh on the You, you can, you can play the Sploosh. I'm not preventing you. No, no. More than one Sploosh on a team is never good. M more Sploosh for the price of one. Okay, I guess, I guess I'll stay Splatana then. Aw, oh, come on. I'm not, I'm not, I'm never, never gonna do triple swoosh again, I'm never gonna do that. Why? I'm that you've done it before. Yes, and it was not the best experience. It was not the vibe? No, yeah. it wasn't. Okay, I need, I need to build this special power up here for when, um, crack on roller. No, no. Yeah, special power up and special power up here. From crack on the other is really because I'm gonna main that thing as soon as it's out. We're gonna have beacons again! Mm -hmm. Let's see. I could actually no, I don't think I have that many special power up pads. Yeah. They are a tad bit rancid. Don't worry, you guys. It's tactical. Like, the cooler. Honestly, I could live with this. Actually, this could be my, like, crack on roller gear if I get more. Uh, sub power up. Honestly, I could just go insert the chunk to f right now if I really wanted to. Well, 2 and 2 roller felt so good. I thought it did. I was... I am fallen roller me. Because I don't like the kit it has. So I'm waiting for beacons to get back on the weapon. Like, the beacon I'm baller? Like... That was kind of precious. I actually didn't realize how much I felt the baller until it was gone. <laughs> Well, okay. I played Sunder, 
and I played um, the Explode with Baller. I played uh, Crack on Roller. I played K Scope a lot. I love Baller. I kind of miss it from time to time, just like I miss cracking. It was, it was like the most watered down the most broken. Yeah, and Kraken was the most broken yet funnest thing in the game. Actually, do I go? Uh, do I go put on the uh, uh, sub power up chunks right now, or do I do that later? Do it later. later. Yeah, for sake of time. Right, it's rolling time. We have no range until we get a bad weather. Yeah. I have again. intel. Museum. I have intel Museum. inside. Pinch him. Oh, Aww, what the heck? Well, I guess this is actually your chance to go put those the things on your on your gear. Oh wait. What's your god said yes? I put some more chunks. I'm gonna put them all on my all where the special special saver subs are, cause I don't need that. In my life. Okay. Oh yeah, I have. Oh, I have two subs. But... I need Anyways, we're good now. It's now that I just have really long curling bombs until Crack on Roller comes out. I still just like don't use the curling bombs, so we're fine though. I mean, curling bomb can be useful when you need it. I mean, I made spoosh, so I should know. I really only use it when I like need to make super fast flanks. That's about the only time I use curling bomb. Yeah, I but then that. at that point, curling bomb is more of a liability than a viability. Because at that point, every like everyone in the game except players that are in B right, now, and even then, there's some who know what they're doing in B right. Every player knows that if someone launches a curling bomb, it's a free win. Most likely going to follow it. Why don't follow it? Instead, you shorten its time. You shorten the curling bomb's time, and then it explodes right where they expect you to land. Then you kill them. Someone should open a room, like for real. I got it. Same password. Yep. Room's up. Refreshing. I, mm, I'm still really mad at one of my friends because they changed their Splatoon name to something similar to like my Discord name. So people are constantly getting us confused and like for the longest time I've been so tempted to block them on Switch until they can change their name. Like I'm it, it's pissing me off just like even reading the name. I I have a problem, so I have to like, not avoiding them, just like not talking to them, which is definitely the same thing as avoiding. But you know, the everyday is these problems. Yay!
Oh, this not help. Anyway. Let's, let's, uh... Let's let's kick people's butts so hard that they that we remove them. Uh, I don't think that's a good thing, Dizzy. I think that's a good thing. Some people need some that. What? It's still just healthy. Healthy and too late. We can just push someone. I swear, you're so lost. I'm gonna start coming from the mouth. Anyways, we all died. Go past it. Oh, never mind. I traded, I traded with the ink brush, so I guess that's okay. That's a double. Come and pass it double. I also think for no reason, the gunning bombs are so awesome. Mm. There's no reason why we should use it. Well, it depends on how far you charge it as well. I'm gonna shit myself. Anyways. I I said No, you're mine. I died. No, all these new games go to be better. Spray gun. Spray it, so. I believe in us. With the power of friendship, we can do it. Yeah, yeah well, I don't know if it's a good jump. I'm fine. That's all I can say. I died. Never mind. You guys, I'm literally throwing. I'm so bad at this game. Why were you just rolling? I, I, I don't know. Yeah, I was I was flicking and it, and it, it, just, it just it wasn't working. And so I did. Yeah. Oh, Chris. Stop sitting uh, down. You nerd. Oh, Chris. Why were you like. You, I noticed you were always in the enemy base and had a tactical already when you could have used that at mid instead of on a flank because a tactical on a flank is not the best spot for it. I know. <laughs> so yeah, maybe you don't go flank with tactical or in hand because it's not a good spot for a jump, nor is it a good spot for trying to get to a tactical I need to practice my vertical swings. I use the horizontal too much. Well, no, that's not a bad thing. Well, but so it, it... Vertical swing is a lot more situational than a horizontal more... swing. Five. I feel like it kills more consistently. Mm, yeah. You might be right about that, actually. Yeah, I also I also need to stop relying so much on the vertical because I um I use big swig a lot and you know big swig. <laughs> yeah. Half of my kills are squish kills. I'm not even joking. Like all of it it's so funny. No, we have an E leader. Oh, but we have a ball bubble. We literally win. Unless they're ass at the game, then we win. Because ball bubble is a literal bad. Well, it's not first, you could have had the point on that C tech right there. there. Nice, baby. Oh, I just got one down for leader. Got three. Nice jump campaign. 
We got a we got a game on. This zone is so hard to I think these guys are bad at the game. Please don't kill me. Oh, created the speed leader. Some fucking power. Fuck you. I'm tired of the end of the battle. Why are you using power? Please stop. He sees me. I'm gonna keep that shoot through a step without. Okay. <laughs> I like sharding myself, I'm so confused. It sucks how Stamp is just outclassed by every weapon. Not special weapon, main weapon in the game. Let's go! Uh, got a kill on accident. Got a leader. Got a tech. Oh, I died to roll. Got him. Well, that was the only one I didn't stumble upon. Okay, that will run. That will run. Oh, <clears throat> oh I never died to curling bomb. Yeah. W, I was going crazy, bro. Ain't no way. Good job. I am so proud of myself. I'm having like my own proud dad moment for like myself. This is so sad. What? You don't, you don't understand. <laughs> I am. I, I don't know. Oh, I went 12 and 3. W. Seven and three. But the season ended in March. So we have like more months. I could get to S plus ton in like two months. I don't wanna, but I could. Hmm, there's someone on the team that I manage that's like, uh, S plus 37. It's like, how the fuck do you have the stability to do that? How do you, how do you, how do, how do you grind they're, that? They're just different. They just, they grind casually in X rank. Those are the type of people. Thoroughly confused. Oh, fuck. actually no. This is the person I want to contact to set up the scrim with, though. Because I sometimes being a captain is not always fun. Means I have to engage in the conversations with other people, especially if we do tournaments. I'm gonna just like shit myself. Uh, actually, I do like the big bubble on this weapon. That's like the only redeemable part of this kit. Right, Junior. Sure, you kill in three shots. But you don't kill faster than I do. Octo version like, Junior. No, Junior kills in four shots. Oh, the Octo brush could have like ended my life. But ran out of time with a little more. Yeah, these guys are actually really good. But at least I'm just playing back. Oh, I ran him over! 
I would have killed that with people if I really. I know, I know I did the mistake. Oh, I know. I need to be a fucking person. Oh, fuck. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> Even like have the left on me, but I still wear them. But it's fine. I I'm proud of myself, but I've gotten two squish kills already. Just drop the time. I got a quad. Yes, we can stop throwing for dramatic effect. That wasn't good for you all, Chris. That was massive L. Watch the zip caster. Don't get cornered. So lucky with that flick. Yeah, I, I would have backed out, Orcus. That would be good. I didn't hurt you. I don't think that fight. Thank you for the bubble. Alright, so. I hate how Stamp has indirects now, and those indirects do It always jack. had, actually. Yeah, but at least in Splatoon 2, the indirects did more than just 60 damage. Yeah. The the thing is, like, remember someone, when the- when the survive. Re remember Why when the hammer was still broken? Survive? Yeah. No, well, it wasn't broken, it was fun. Well, yeah, okay, but what- I mean, like, back in the beginning of Splatoon 3, whenever, like, you couldn't get kills consistently, actually, you could get kills more consistently by hitting with the side hitbox. <laughs> that extends way past the hammer. Okay. Oh, yeah, I was playing in the beginning of Splatoon 3, even in the, uh, even in the global test fire, stamp was completely unusable, especially for me as someone who made the thing. Because, like, you had jump swing hitboxes that were non-viable. They were liable because they didn't hit. The hitbox was too small, they nerfed it to oblivion. And then this, the normal stamping hitbox, the rushing hitbox, was again too small. And it didn't hit anything as well. Like, I, I even have a clip of it, pre-buff pre stamp, pre-buff stamp in Splatoon 3. I, I have a clip of it not hitting when it should have consistently. It's, it's ridiculous. Didn't throw, the throwing hitbox get a massive nerf too? No, the fr so they nerfed the stamping hitbox. Like the stamping and jump stamp hitbox, they nerfed that to oblivion. But they buffed the the stamp throw to like crab tank level right now. So that yeah, that is confusing. And the crab tank got multiple one of them. Like they can yeah. can just spam them. Great. Who's this thing so fast? There's only like three subs of swim speed. 
should play C Junior. I actually really miss my K Junior. Cause that was like a bubble name. But I only used... That's weird. I was a K Junior. You didn't hit me. This dude didn't hit me. I saw that just on his way go right past me. Also, uh... Orcus might want to stop rushing in. Uh, then again, you can't really do any things about it because you don't have a bomb. You don't have a bomb to help you. Bubbles in bed. Dude, I'm so tired of this chi tech. Please, someone take care of them. Anyways, we might need this over here. Oh, I tracked him. I swear. I swear I tracked him. He's got zone. He's got zone. He's got zone. He's got zone. Oh. Oh. He should have zone. He should have zone. He should. Mm -hmm. How are you hitting me through the stamp's shield? That's another thing that got me up and they haven't had. The stamp's shield. Used to be so good. Now it's terrible. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, it and is game really breaking. Yeah. 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 Alright, so you don't want to die from above the ledge when Stamp clearly reaches up there. Quite a bit for a relay player. I'll be quick. I was like, if I'm up close and I'm just like, there's a little bit for example, my instinct is to just run over it. But sometimes that doesn't work. People can play it so far. Where did that bird phone come from? You saw it from nowhere near me. He flew that from the other side of the tower. He didn't even know I was there. Bro, I have no chance! Oh, nice passive. And, of course, the T-Tech comes to stop me, because where else would they go? Except right in my line of fire. By the way, I outspeed T-Tech by about 13 frames in terms of, like, a close-range one-on-one gunfight. So, if I am point-blank, sploosh range, like, the range in between a Luna Blaster's blast and the gun itself, sploosh range, splatter shot, we trade, and nine times out of ten, I'll kill them before they kill me. So how is it that splatter shots keep winning these point blank fights against the sploosh. Lag. It can't be lag because if they were lagging, I'd still get the kill. If they were lagging, I'd still get the kill. It'd just be delayed. And it can't be my RNG because I am point blank, as I said. Like, there's no way to miss. There, there's no way to miss. Net code? Question mark? Uh... I'm, I... I had this problem in Splatoon 2. And I think this is the main reason. I, there's gotta be someone that dies, one of you two. So bye, I guess. No, 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 no. I think I'm losing these fights. Simply because... Sploosh might have a fat... A, too fast of a fire rate for its own good because every single time i lose a, a trick or i lose what should have been a trade against the spider shot in a close range fight like that yeah every time i count four or five shots from myself because the hit marker makes a sound so i counted four or five of those hit markers and they're not dead yet. Maybe some of them just have red shirt. 
I don't know why. Yeah, that's that's what I think. Because it might be too fast for its own good. Oh man, I get I Five point one is one of the hardest specials to dodge in my game. Like I can dodge every other time. Throw them on the tower? Anything tries to counter and just automatically go around it. And once by the time you turn around, they're shooting through your sand. What the hell was that? That's an L, boys. Oh my god. Okay, let's hit stop. I want to use C Jr. because C Jr. is fun. Yeah, I'm switching off the sploosh because I can't use stamp today. Not a good stamp day. At the beginning of the game when I was using stamp, I thought I was just bad at stamp and then people told me that stamp was broken. I was just like, oh, okay, that makes more sense. I'm not just ass at stamp. I still I still yeah. am bad at stamp, but stamp was completely terrible. It couldn't be used in a match. It couldn't be part of a call. And it still can't because weapons like splash, stamper, and freaking any weapon that has a fast fire rate automatically counters stamp. And the sad thing is, that's whole, stamp's whole purpose to counteract those weapons. It's a melee weapon, and it can't fight against a melee weapon. It can melee, but it, it's not necessarily the main goal. No, that's... that's... It's... okay. Stamp and, like, Stamp the Special and Stamper the Weapon. Like, very similar. Because they both have two ways of attacking. You can either direct with Splatana, or horizontal swing, or launch a uh, projectile. And stamp is the same way. You can either rush them, rush stamp them, like or jump. You're thinking stamp too aggressively. The the, the point is that when you're whenever you're stamping down, you're kind of protected from the front, and if you stamp close to a wall, then you're protected from like three sides. It's a movement yeah, option, and it kind of does painting yeah, as well. What I mean is like what I mean by the weapons that counter stamp, like stamp or splash, and any other. Like, fast fiery shooter i mean they just ignore the shield completely they ignore the protection that stamp gives because their fast fire rate is too much for the shield to actually keep up with because the shield appears every time stamp well then, stamp. then you just throw the hammer towards them <laughs> that's the thing if you pop stamp and a splash is waiting there for you you can't do anything about that and well yeah it's not a panic splash. special There, there's always a splash. So there are just too many weapons, too many specials that counteract stamp. Makes the whole special feel terrible when you put it against a team that has at least one splash. Also, did you know that stamp's whole purpose in like comp in competitive Splatoon is to just deal with crab tank and yet it can't even do its job that well? Because because of its lack of of protection and lack of just defense in general, it can't do anything about crab tank. They just go into ball form, and you can't do anything about it. POV like, that's ba that's basically rock paper scissors. You're like, oh, crabs being popped. Oh, hammers being popped. Oh, crab protected. Well, then I'm not gonna throw the hammer. I'm gonna do something else with the hammer. 
Because no, he, the here's the thing. But you pop, you pop hammer. They pop crab. You're automatically at a disadvantage, even though it's a whole special to counter crab tank. Because they have more range than you, more fire rate than your shields can keep up with, and you can't hurt them from the front. You pop stamp in a flank. You can hurt them from the top, see, though. They roll away. There's no yeah, but they, but if they roll away, then it's a win. It's a win. What do you mean? Well, if they rolled away, they're not firing anymore. They're not firing, but you are, you can't kill them still. So. But it's fine. You just you just hold down the R button and ready your hammer to be to be thrown. If they if they put their head That's out, you the kill thing. them. If they don't, you can't do that. Why not? You can't do that in a four v four. Well, no, it's a, it's a 3v3 then, because you guys are just in a stalemate then. <laughs> in a 4v4 match, Stamp can't do it. Stamp can't do its job at all. Because everyone's always going to have the crap thing back. That's not my opinion, that's a fact. Because that's how the meta is today. That's how the meta is and will be until the next update. Everyone's going to protect the crab tank because that's meta. Anyways, room's up. But Me getting like triple added on Twitch. Love that. Love that for me. Double your material. Anyways, I'm gonna use the counter to shooters that doesn't work and is countered by every shooter, even though it's the counter to shooters. Bah. Totally makes sense, Nintendo. Totally. Yep. Buff Brella. Buff Brella. Please. No, fix the net code. Don't buff Brella. Fix net code. No, no, no. Brella needs a buff. Yes, it does. Prochara said it. Almost every comp player has said it. Brella needs a buff. It has a shield. Yeah. It doesn't work. A weak one. Well, yeah, yeah it but it has work. a shield. Yeah. I, I don't see any splatter shots with shields. I, I was playing yeah, it, 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 and I had my shield deployed, and the roller should have bumped into my shield and bounced off. But no, yeah. the roller ran me over through my shield. That's lag. Yep. No, it's not. It's just Brella not working. Nah, I yeah, don't think that's how the game works. That's literally it. I, that's I think, that, I think it's that's just Brella lag. Not working. No, there was no lag. What? Every game I've seen someone play. Uh, that's like on their sides. I mean, I, I I don't mean lag on your side. I mean lag on their sides. So to them, it registers a, as a kill, and then it sends it to your switch. So the switch tells, oh okay, you're dead now. That doesn't make any sense because that makes for sense. them to be lagging, they have to be lagging on your screen. No, because so actually, see them okay. Lagging. How does lag actually? visualize on your screen lag visualizes by people jumping spots right yeah but that only happens if their movement is different from what the switch is going to predict that they're going to do if they keep rolling forward there's nothing else that they're going to do because that's what they're they already plan to do so the switch is going to predict that it's going to apply that movement and then the next update you're going to receive which is going to be late they're still going to be rolling because that's what they were doing so the lag will not appear on your screen but the 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 data will be sent later so on their screen they were still rolling but they rolled you over and that's the part that you didn't receive if, if that's the case if if that is the case then why is it that undercover works but regular brella doesn't because undercover always has its shield up so there's there's no Basically, the roller guy is not gonna have situations where you pull down your umbrella and then they lag, and then you pull it up again. But since you're lagging, well, they don't see that you pull it up again. And then undercover is always up, so there's no 
time where it can receive data that you pulled it down and then lag and then you pull it back up but it's too late. That's why it works, because it's consistent. I want MPA right now is to give my weapon more health. So I'm getting shredded. Well then, then you should probably consider the Tentabrella. I am past the Tentabrella. I picked up Tentabrella to put it down. I almost put Tentabrella in the pump. But we didn't ever put it in the pumps. So I just didn't play the weapon anymore. Charger is the counter to Bella. <laughs> no, and it makes me sad. But like the full charge is shredding, literally shredding my Bella, and it makes me so sad. Like, why? I know it'd be OP, but can I have just like counter Bella help on Bella? Like, that would be broken, and stuff the entire so metal off balance. And first of all, how did you, how did you see me? I was on the complete opposite side of the wall. Character from a game who had like a head shield mechanic. And then the, when he was released, the, the shield had infinite health. So, and when they nerfed it, it got to 500, which was reasonable. And stuff. But then, and other stuff. But then, they nerfed it again, down to 100 health. And like, that was only useful for the PC player. The PC players could react to the one shot that hit the shield and just deal with it. But no, the, the console players, they're fucked. The 500 health shield was perfect because they had enough time to like move their stick and shit and, and react to it. But no, they're just kind of fucked because um, it doesn't work like that. So, even the high sensitivity would not be able to flip really. I also understand Umbrella Strings more than I understand the Black Strings. How does this spot change everywhere I go? So there are two. Oh no, there's one of them. What the hell? There's two splatlings. Yeah, 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 that's weird. Anyways, I'm kind of slowing in the frame. I can only oh, take one. Because they gang up on me, I'm dead. Or if they break my shield, I'm dead. Well, I'm coming to help. Don't worry. Probably a material teammate right there. Oh, no, I died. Oh, you're gonna die. I'm dead. Still help me. <laughs> Ow. They're squid bagging me, really? They're toxic. They're so toxic. If I wanted, like, if I was really, I don't know. There's not any other way to fix it. Well, than other, other than fixing the net code first, then buffing it. I mean, Splatoon well, in general, like the, the entire franchise, does have a notorious history of being bad in terms of netcode and online status and stuff. Because Brella is completely de- well, not completely dependent, but it's like, 
partially dependent on like its function actually working. Yeah. And the netcode. So the only way to fix Brella is to fix the netcode. But this game is notorious notoriously bad for having a bad netcode. Yeah. I mean, I think it's kind of a umbrella yeah. issue, just the way the weapon is designed. Because, like, for example, in other games, you could have abilities that give you more shield, uh, like your shield and Halo Infinite and stuff. But the thing is, like, that's predictable. You can send the information to the other players. Whereas here, the shield is kind of like, oh, it can pop up whenever it wants. And that's basically ad adding another wrinkle in the whole math equation that needs to be done. That's, that's annoying. It's like, it's easy enough if all the weapons can kill, and then whenever you get a kill on your screen, it sends it to the other player, and then you're like, okay, yeah, that's fine. But then you've, if you've got, like, stuff that can cancel the kill, it's so, like the other person killed you, and they need to send that to your console, but your console is like, but wait, I was supposed to have a shield. I was supposed to cancel the kill. How do you tell that to the other console? Like, oh, yeah, remember the animation that you, that you killed someone? Actually, no, they're not dead. Like, you can't really do that. That's kind of hard. But Barella, oh fuck, I can't play the game. Okay. That's fun. One time I was playing Barella, they had like. I think you have enough energy for me. Faster. Oh then, wait, I don't. That's the weapon I'm using. I'm gonna go down. That's the one. Nope. I'll see y'all later. Thanks for the game. No problem, you see y'all. And they're all alive. Okay, I find this. I found it dead. I can never mind. I thought I was gonna be able to play the game. Definitely not. I missed the jump. My umbrella made me miss it. My shield was up. I really shouldn't have died. I don't know. Ow. Umbrella kind of works in Splatoon. That's why I picked up umbrella because it kind of works. I do I think. Really uh, honestly, I think the main nerf that the, the Brella's got in Splatoon 3 is that people can move around it way more thanks to squid rolls and stuff. That's why I kind of dropped the the tent umbrella. I used to main it hard. Really? Honestly, I think it's still worth it because it's still so big. Mm -hmm. that, like, harder. I mean, especially because I used to run into like main power up, and the maps had way more like tight flanks. And also, people could move less. It was way. It had too much stuff in its in its advantage. Whereas here, like, eh. it's like it, it's it's still the weapon, but I can't abuse it. So um, you know, it's like people using the the freaking the tenta missile spam on the reflux, and then oh, it gets nerfed. Well, I'm not I'm not gonna play the weapon anymore because I can't abuse it. <laughs> I I feel that I feel that. Um, the Sheldon picks Pentabrella a lot just because I really liked its kit. <laughs> that one was fun. The uh, my first day. No, why do you shred my shield so much? Have one's... you ever tried the Inkline Pentabrella? The one with the wall. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep, yep. That... Curling spam. That's basic. Curling spam is basically another way to wall out opponents. So you got the wall, you got the shield, you got the special. By the time one is over, you have like two other out. <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, Imagine. Do, do you remember Arrow and a Mole? Yes. I love that do, do you remember the flank that's on the. Whenever you go to the enemy side, you have a flank on the on the left side of the map near the clown basket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine staying there with the tentabula, incline tentabula, with the walls and the curling bomb spam. That's nasty. You don't want yes, it is. <laughs> I also really love the vanilla tentabrella for no reason. I like the bubble the bubble shield combo. That one was so nice. Oh yeah. And blow out the bubbles and then we'll launch the shield, then blow out the bubbles, and then the shield would pop the bubbles. It was so nice. Okay, you know you know what? I kinda wanna try the tentabrella right now. You should. We should hit stop so you can play tentabrella. Yep. I will take the tangible with max run speed up. Oh man. Okay, give me like two minutes. I'm gonna go upstairs and grab a something real quick. We can we can do that real quick. We can just go there recently. Play. Oh, we're to see. oh wait, we're we, 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 we friends. Become friends. Cloud is eating. Weird. Wait, how much playtime do you have? Let me uh, look. Overall? Um... Platoon 3, I have like 500 plus. I know that. Like somewhere around 540. And then Splatoon 2, I had like 955 or something. Then Splatoon 1, I poured so many hours into that game. Probably close to 800. Uh, are you sleepy on the Switch? Why doesn't it tell me new new 
friend. Where is the new indication? But it is not here. How much time do I have? I have 500. Okay. I see that. It says that you're on that on my friend's list. Uh, yes, I just don't know which name it is, but I think it was Sleepy. So, uh, room, create the room. Do 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 do. Send a friend request. Let's go. There we go. Double you. Come in. Come in. Come in. Interesting. I had the sudden urge. I hope in the next patch that Crack on Roller gets released, I can have Deacon Roller back. I just want to be I'm like deprived of that kid. I literally still go back to Splatoon 2 to play Beacon <laughs> Like, I love that kick so much. Guess I can oh. Interesting. Uh, I something. Mm -hmm. Should have seen the state Tentabrilla was in the game first drop. You could get shot through the shield, it was so bad. But at least they removed the suction bomb trick, that was annoying. Ninja Squid.
No, don't drop on me. I think I am gonna go eat a snack, that way I can prepare for the salmon rotation. Hmm. Okay. It's, it's gonna be all random, Grease Cabrilla, let's go! So, I will be coming back. Hello. Yeah. Guys playing anarchy? Uh I am gonna go grab a snack before going to play the salmon game.
Test. Oh, wait. Oh, my microphone was still on. Okay. Uh, let me go back to Splatoon. Hello, I am back again. Um, camera is still dead. Well, I don't do much about that. Um, I will. What will I do? Uh, <clears throat> that's a good question. We will play the Salmon Run game because there is the new rotation in five seconds. So let's go and play it. I'm alright, fellas. <clears throat> I see the new email. Well, that sounds like trouble. <clears throat> well, um, let me figure it out. I will go back to Discord. Discord. Discordo. Discordo. Okay, I'm in this. I'm in this message. Oops. And then I do. I'm back. I say I'm back, even though people know that I'm back. But I'm. I'm gonna say it again. And I'm gonna say it anyway. Um. So I. I need. What do I need? I need some stuffs. Awful gore. Um, let's, you know what, let's jump into a match, even though it's the old rotation, but whatever, we don't care, we want to play some summon run game, so we will play, I will play, and you guys will have to sit through that, you, you will have to watch, I will force you to watch, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> Ooh, we got a white two. Let's go, and they're all matching. Let's go.
have those brightest things. Or keep matching with him. Oh, never mind, because, uh. We matched. I'm definitely gonna have them. Um. Okay, I I want to add those guys first. Want to add them? Okay, let's play. Double dualies, <gasps> three three gorillas. Let's go. We got this easy in the bag. Favorite weapon, and other people got busted weapons. Wait, no. It's actually it's the snipe. Wait, is it this? Oh yeah, it's the sniper. Okay. Oh, well, that guy is dead. That guy is so dead. Look at him. Look at him! Look at this! Oh my gosh. This is I thought it was Umbrella. But it, it's even better. Because this does so much fucking damage. Don't block their shots. Don't block their shots, Ultras. They have the DPS. Okay, good. Whatever. Get so many eggs. Wait, as long as you can grab them. Right. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming. So, what's your, your crab? We are, you have a much better sniper. We're doing damage. Oh, let's go! We got him again! This is so cool! Let's go. Let's actually go. <clears throat> oh, it charges so fast. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven. The vibration whenever you hit something. Okay, hold on. Not, you know, I don't know how much damage it does. And it pierces through enemies. Oh my god. I mean pierces as in it does I mean you know, it goes through not as in pierces armor. Why? 
Unless... No, okay, it doesn't. That would have been way too good. <laughs> Got it! The hits from that far. It doesn't know it doesn't do 300 damage. I think it's probably there. I think it's probably based on a bamboozer, so that's why. Like a bamboozer that charges even faster and does more damage. Don't let the don't let that 300. So you can't actually kill uh you can't actually kill like the head thing of the boss. Right? Let's go, I got him, but I wasted all my ink tank for that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, we got the quota though. As long as we can survive. Oh, this is gonna be tough. This is gonna be tough. We got two seconds. We got two seconds of the squeezer is the only one alive, okay? Look my goody, goody, goody. Goody, goody. So, whenever I got the sniper, I definitely need to uh, spam a little bit more. Like, I, I don't really need to wait for my shots, just like spam as much as you can. Just tap fire now, because the tap fire is probably the full charge already. Can you even tap fire with that thing? <laughs> oh, no. We got a Hydra, we got a Sniper, I got this too. Probably dead there if I stayed any longer. Let's go, I got the points. I got the points. I heard one. Oh no, that was the uh, fish dude. <laughs> Thank god you took me off. Oh jeez. Okay, good. Cleaning up some of the, the mess in the area. That's good. Oh fuck! He's facing me! He's facing me! Oh, oh. oh we got a quota! Let's go! I'm surviving because I'm so good! I'm the game! Let's go! Hurry up! X3, let's go! Range Blaster... Okay, okay. You might have way too many slow, long-range options. Except for the Carbon. Hopefully the Carbon helps us. Well, actually, you know, you know, on this wave... Might be useful. Might be useful. To have the long range. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. Very useful. Mm, yes. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Look at all this damage we did. Go 
back up. There you. I got the sniper blob thing on the back. Okay. Yo, it actually charges like literally instantly. It's like you don't even have a top shot that doesn't exist. Or can it? Basically, holding down fire is only so that you have the reticle. <laughs> Definitely satisfying. Oh, 
Oh my god. We're missing so many things right now. Oh, that, that, that guy. That guy. He's got our egg. That was soft. The Hydra Sniper. What is happening? Why is it happening? I have got no clue what the... No way, and 
Then my my guy is also dead. I'm doing terrible. Okay, I revived him like that. So let's go. Well, I actually got on the edge, so I don't know if that's so good. <laughs> I escape. Oh my god. Uh, we're not doing good. I should probably use a special. Four. Uh, that way we can use some. Right now. And what that's gonna do. Okay. Killing one box, that's already good. Here's up the basket line. Okay. Get the eggs in. We need three of them. Do you guys have any eggs? One egg. Let's go. Okay. I might have helped it maybe just a little bit by turning up the boss in front of the back end. Maybe. Maybe. What about... Okay, we've got a big trick. Last two. Okay, okay, I like this. What is it gonna be? Different. I got the end up, right? Alright. This way, guys. This way, guys. Jesus Christ. Why aren't they staying in one place? What is happening with them? This fucking way, guys. Fire with me! Fire with me! Where's the- where are- Okay, we made it, but that was tough. And I think I wasted I wasted my special. Yes, I did. No! Come on! I thought I could act smarted by just doing it you know, but no. Just push me off the map. I am in a bad position. Get away, get away, get away, get
go, got him. Let's go, got him. Okay, I'm gonna go in this way, nobody else is. That's no good. Find an escape. Let's go. Whoopsies! One hit and I'm dead! Okay, I survived for now! Oh my goodness! How can I do this? This is cool. Umbrella. I got that thing to pierce people. And also, we're gonna get torn real quick to Definitely need to stay as close to that as we can. You don't want the people that do a lot of ink on the map. So, you want to clear them up. Oh, why did I jump? Why did I jump? Yeah, I think we have too many of these guys to the map. Okay, this one's gonna win. But no, we got him, we got him. Second special action. Probably should use my shield if we're going to Okay. Can we get four eggs in five seconds? Let's go! We got him. We got him. They got the last one. Thank goodness I predicted that this was going to be a hard way and prepared to it. Um, two bucket and um, and two snack. Bro, bro, I'm going to aim at you. <laughs> this is still low tide, I have no special. But we have... Two umbrellas, uh, two umbrellas, uh, two That didn't kill the other guy? Bad. Oh, oh, oh. Let's go all at once.
Ow! We don't have it like, oh. Well, we made it to wave 3, so that, that's good. Wave 2 was too hard, so I had to use all my special. <laughs> Not first wave, not first wave. Come on, come on, come on, come on. We have the stinger. Stinger's not a problem. Come on, just kill him. Kill him. No way he dropped it down, come on. The map is absolutely completely covered in enemy. I need the Hydra, so let's fix that. Oh, no time. I'm going up here. Actually reset your charge. Come on, man. Hold yourself. Do you think about not putting your hands in the charge? Come on. Oh, let's go. We got it.
team comp. I should use my specials, of course, of course. Okay, kind of managed to do something cool there. Uh, okay, we, we won't, we won't. Too late for special guys, too late. Oh man.
Oh, come on, baby. Ah, oh, should out here. No. I should have thrown my special at the tower instead of dropping down. Oh, really? This was bullshit. Right. I had to use my trap tank. I mean, I don't know if I had to per se, but I, I used it anyway. So I guess we got we got still one. If we need it on the second wave, I think this is soft. And then we'll make it to the third wave and that's good. So, we'll so I I wouldn't mind just winning. Because I, I do want to do the third wave. You get what I mean? Mm. Why are they everywhere? I feel cornered. I guess that's the point of playing in the fog. Let that guy come. Forcibly swing bosses, even if they don't want to. Be Okay. 
easy wave is good. We're gonna have a, our third wave, and I think that's gonna be the pro wave we want. No clue who's or not, really? Okay. How, how full is the meter? I'm pretty sure it's, uh... It's full. Oh, hello, frog! Snipe Rider is paying to use. Uh, okay. Wait, how, how long ago did you send the message? Because it doesn't show up on my stream. I'm sorry. I've been playing alone for a bit. Um, how are you doing, Mr. Frog? Are you still here? Splash? Oh, yes, let's go. Splash is good. I like the movement of the splash. You know, it's kinda boring. It's meta. Pulling the correct bricks at the correct time. Oh, well. Wait, who shot that? Oh, Systems.
low tide, uh, I mean high tide. Easily. You need to watch all of the sides of the map, such as this one. Which really is like, uh, flying demon. Where's our sniper? Don't want to let him alone. He's white sniper still. Never a good idea. <laughs> Why did I fire my weapon? Give me some of my thank you. Okay, it is time to use that thing. No, oh come on. I didn't do enough damage to my lightning. I mean, I was in the corner, so.